welcome 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 to tonight's uh stream um and we're going to be playing voidfall so let's just start, jump straight into the teach we've actually got everyone with us say hi dave good day we've got callum yo 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 and we've got rowan yeah, ho, ho. and what are you drinking tonight guys a nice glass of red for me i think is going to be the, the, the to, to go through the day beautiful i have a Some new friends. england I have a New England IPA from uh, Port Stevens up in New South Wales, mate. I'm going. I'm going extra special tonight. Lovely. <laughs> I'm having Graham Buey on the rocks. Oh. oh, actually, that is amazing. So we've got Doc Savage. He's uh, drinking lemongrass, ginger, and citrus tea. He's uh, he's not. He might 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 not be joining in on the uh, the 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 alcohol, but at least he's got the uh, nice drink with him. In defense, it is a school night, so I totally understand. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Voidfall. Um, this has quite a bit of a teach to it, so um, we're just going to jump straight into it um, and uh, we'll answer questions at the end, yes. So um, in Voidfall, we are all in control of royal houses in a dystopic future where a mysterious force, force known as the Voidborn has uh, helped shape humanity into a space-faring galactic powerhouse only to come and conquer us years later. In the cooperative session that we're going to be playing tonight, we are all at the point of that void, void board invasion. It's quite a mouthful to say. Um, this game can actually be played in competitive mode and in solo mode. Um, in competitive mode, you play in a futuristic future, so future from now, um, uh, where we have presumably succeeded in uh, staving off the void born invasion. In either play format, um, regardless of, of, of the which way, which style we're playing, we always win based on the amount of influence we have. Whether we're fighting off the void born and pooling our collective influence, like we will be tonight, or ducking it uh, or, or duking it out amongst ourselves, influence is what gets us all. Uh, is what we're all trying to gain. So it's important to note this is an active Kickstarter. Um, so it finishes next week. So all of the components in this game are prototypes. Um, everything is pre-production. So anything potentially could change. That could be some of the rules. That could be some of the components. It's all um, up for works. And they're still, um, uh, I think they're set about 80% complete on most uh, components. So um, you know, there are some, probably some shaping ups to, to, to be done here or there. With all of that said and done, let's actually just jump straight in to the game. And we're going to start in the middle here on the space. Um, so effectively, we've got sectors, multiple different sectors, and we're going to be starting off in our home sectors. So we've got three home sectors here, um, and then we've got some adjacent um, sectors that we control. Each sector is like its own um, solar system, millions of light years away from any other light so, so, uh, sector. They do converge and um, meet with each other, but traveling from sector to sector is like traveling um, hundreds of thousands, you know, millions of, of, of light years. You'll also notice that some of them have these void storms between them, and they basically break that connection. So all those these two sectors are next to each other, they are not adjacent, so you have to go around. Within each of these sectors, you'll actually notice we've got some different components. The blue dice is not something we are ever going to roll. It is a stat check. It is the number of population, as my dog starts going crazy, um, it's the number of population that we have in that sector. You'll notice each sector has different population cubes. These can go up and down during the game. At the top, you'll actually notice four triangles. These are installations. So that sector can build its own installations, and these can be anything from military defense, um, offensive, um, or you know, ship creation, shipyards. Down the bottom, we have our guilds, and these are like our economic components. These are ways of generating more uh, resources that we use. And with that said, let's jump over down to the bottom right to the yellow players section, and you'll see that we've got um, two main components here. 
There is also the influence board and in Tabletop Simulator we're using a calculator. We're not using the actual influence tracker. In the game this is a, a triple dial. Um, but we do have the influence board and then we have the resources. And this, this is where we're actually going to keep count on the left hand side of how much resource we produce. So this is our producing quality in, based on the sectors that we can control. Um, and this is going to um, slide up or down based on the sectors we control and the guilds held within it. You'll note that as you go up within the sectors that each um, that it is not a um, matched number base. So if you have, for instance, three um, uh, food, it's actually going to produce four food. And as you go up, you'll notice that that actually continues. Oh, sorry, it's actually the other way around. So if you have seven, it's going to produce four. So um, as you slowly go up, um, you kind of hit a plateau, then it, it gets more. Each of the food types, so on the left hand side, you've got production of food, energy, and materials. And these are the main consumables that we'll be using within the game. You also have science and money, and these act as kind of more like wild cards. So if you need to spend something and you don't have enough materials, you can use your money instead to buy that. There are some exceptions to that, and we'll go through that when they, those exceptions come up. On the right hand side, it is our stockpile. This is exactly what it is. Uh, sounds like it is how much of that resource we presently have. Super easy, super, tra super straightforward. If we scroll down to the bottom, we've got our um, focus cards, which we're going to go into a bit more detail later. Um, but there are nine cards, um, and these are identical amongst all for all players. Um, but you'll notice that we'll actually be playing different um, components on there. So when we get into that, we'll go into that. We'll, we'll, we'll touch on that in more detail. Looking at the player board itself, you'll actually notice there's only four main components that we we actually need to look at. The first component on the side is our um, agendas, and we have four potential agendas that we can have at any time. We have our upkeep section, which is actually going to, it's, it's less of a game mechanic that we need to, um, that we're going to be adjusting, and more of a tracker to help up remind us how much the end of the turn or upkeep is going to cost us. Then we have our res uh, research or our scientific discoveries at the top, and our, I've forgotten the name of them, civilization track on the on the side. So um, you, you've got your political, you've got your, um, com uh, yeah, you've got your different uh, civilizations, how advanced your civilizations are. And these are divided up into different eras. So you can see that as, you're, as you progress on each civilization track, you'll actually progress on each era. So let's actually quickly dive into each um, each particular section um, and you'll notice that we actually start off with a choice between two um, agendas per um, civilization and they are unique to each um, house so you'll notice that this is the house foulness um, the other houses that the, the, the players have are slightly different as well within this choice it is actually just an upgrade so once we've um, chosen that it's actually going to slide underneath now there is some extra setup that we have involved in this which we're not going to go through when we take our quick break we'll set up the player board entirely but as an upgrade it will actually sit underneath the player board here the big component uh, that upgrades provide is your influence this is where you're going to score most of your influence throughout the game so you're going to be ma making sure that you want to complete all of the actions on these player boards at any time, if you need reference, they do have a reference um, iconography chart um, as well as uh, the, the rule book with those, um, those reference icons as well. We're not going to go into each individual icon because um, that's just, just the video would get take way too long. Within each of the upgrades, um, you've got a little section on the right hand side and you can see that we can get more upgrades over here. And these will be for substitute fuse, growth, or expansion. What you'll notice on these upgrades is you will have two different tiles. You have the cost of the the um, of playing this uh, not upgrade uh, agenda, um, and then the benefit you get once you've played this. And you you've actually so we'll go into how this card is actually played. But once you've played it, you'll actually pay that cost, get the reward, and then this slides underneath and covers up that section and then you'll have an extra 
scoring opportunity at the end, as well as extra upkeep that you can see along the side. So this would actually cost you three up upkeep points. It is important to note that throughout the game, you can collect extra tokens that will actually cover up in their little hex, uh, hexagonal tokens. So you, when we get to them, you'll see exactly what they are and what they can do, but they actually cover up that space and can prevent you from having to pay that upkeep. So if you have one of those trade tokens, it will prevent you from having to pay that upkeep. There is also corruption that can affect it, but we'll actually touch on that later when we get into um, the combat and uh, resolution section. So we're just going to quickly flip that back. So at the top, we'll move on. We're not going to touch on the upkeep because as I said before, it is just a counter. So you can see um, as you're playing through your turn, how much your upkeep is going to cost you at the end. Um, uh, so if we focus now on the upgrades, what this will allow us to do is, as it says, it's going to provide us with extra abilities and upgrades throughout that cycle. When we obtain um, uh, an upgrade, it actually is going to sit um, above our player board um, and you'll notice that this also has um, costs associated with it and it also has victory points associated when you obtain that card. Um, down the bottom once more um, you've got uh, extra um, uh, components in terms of the tokens or um, or materials um, which are the little cubes um, and whereas this one has the different iconography so once more in order to find out what each um, iconography does uh, referring to the icon board at the top is your best bet Throughout the game, we can use our science to also upgrade um, our civilization, um, and that is done through our cards, which again, we'll touch on later when we get to it. From here, we're actually gonna move over into the game itself. So we've got, touched on the different components, um, but at the moment, you're probably not gonna understand what the game is. And that's where we come over to the Galaxy board. The Galaxy board is actually going to show, show us through the game itself. Um, the game is broken up into three cycles, and within each cycle, there are three main actions. So A, B, and C are the three main actions. The board itself does actually tell you exactly everything. It tells you everything you need to know. On the first turn, you actually skip the first action, but on turns, on cycle, sorry, on not turns, cycles, on cycle two and three, the, the leftmost trade token will actually be uh, um, discarded from the game. So as the game goes through, you're actually going to get less and less of these trade tokens available. As we move down to number uh, uh, item number two, any cards that are open in that space would actually, so for instance, if we were missing this, if someone had upgraded that first one, all tiles would move down to the bottom and then we'll replace the uh, resulting empty space with a new card. Then we get into the turn order. So because we're playing cooperative mode, this is slightly different. In competitive mode, there is a different, uh, 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 a different rule set based on um, the previous turns uh, and your house. But in the cooperative mode, we're actually all being dealt four cards. And those four cards are actually going to determine the cycle in which we play. So in those four cards, I'm going to choose one of my four cards secretly um, and I'm going to place it out into the board. We then sort that board based on our priority number, lowest number to highest number, and um, we would place our corresponding color. Um, so if I was, for instance, yellow, I'd place my corresponding color on that turn order. And this is the turn order for the rest of, the, uh, for the rest of that cycle. Because once we've done so uh, turn three, we move up to uh, 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 item number four, where the per first player is going to pick two cards and choose between them. So in this instance, we've got these two cards. I'm just going to randomly select this one. Um, oh, sorry, the other card would get discarded, um, but we're, we are going to play. So, um, And this is where we get into number five, which is the void born action. So each player is going to add and they just follow the actions that are written on the card. Every card is different. Same with the player reactions. Every card is different. So having a look at it and uh, following through. 
You'll notice in the middle, it's actually got a reference to say this is cycle number one, so we're never going to be mixed up as to which cycle we're in. On the right hand side of the card, we have the um, number of cards that each turn, each person is going to play in phase B. And that leads us directly into what phase B is. So in turn order, um, we're going to take our way through playing a card. So on the first action, we're going to resolve an event. Um, this is usually something bad and something um, that we have to overcome. And we're going to touch on that and the cost of civilization um, uh, after we've uh, gone through a brief overview. Then we actually play a card. Um, and on that card, so as we saw before, you have three options. You get to choose two of them. You result those two actions in any turn order. If you have some extra tokens, so these tokens that we saw before, the trade tokens, on some of your um, agendas, you can actually flip them over and play the third card, third action on that card. It's important to note that the iconography is very clear here. You cannot use the same action on a card twice. So in this playing that, that extra option, it is you're using all three actions on that card. This is an optionary step. Anytime you see a green line separating, um, that means you can do and. It is not a requirement to do any of them, but you can also, when you play a card, you can flip a token and get that third action. Also, you can play an upgrade, and we'll actually show you how that works. Um, the very, very simple basics there is that you just need to have, match the iconography of the um, agenda with the card that you're playing, and we'll show you how that works. You can also at that same time resolve a current action. So this was the current action you just revealed that is going to take effect by the end of your turn. Or you can resolve an action that is actually from a previous turn or someone else was not able to react uh, to do an action of. Once you've then resolved all those, you're going to make sure that your regions, um, so the, the sectors, um, have a maximum of two uh, uh, fleets within there. So a fleet we're going to touch on um, when we get to the uh, miniatures component, um, but we just need to make sure that there's a maximum of two fleets in any one sector. We then have a choice of if we have not resolved this card using the, the action in two, we either take the penalty from that or we're going to move that that card into the ongoing. So you can see the iconography again quite clear, current action um, long term, uh, sorry, current current task, long term cast task. If you're unable to resolve it in your turn, it becomes a long term task, and we'll go through a bit more of how that actually works when we get to it. We then rinse and repeat. The next player takes their turn, follows that same process until everyone has played. In this instance, five cards. Some rounds have four, some rounds have seven, um, up to seven. I think it's four to seven is the window, um, and that is round B. That's the meat of the game. That's where we're going to be doing most of our actions. Once everyone has played the required amount of cards, we're going to move into the final um, phase of the cycle, um, part C, which is the upkeep and resolution round. So determining our upkeep is based on how many different fleets we have. So if we've got any of these types of fleets, they're going to cost us one per fleet. Um, if we've got any of our installations. So these are our um, star bases. These are our point defense. These are our attacking systems. They're going to cost us one each. Also, banks cost us one each because, you know, not any of the other um, guilds, but banks, only banks will also cost us one each. For every um, uh, corruption we have, we also pay two, two upkeep. Um, some, some science and upgrades have uh, upkeep components to them. Depending on the card, um, we'll actually see that when we get back to that player board. Um, and for every agenda we have, you'll have the, the, the cost of that agenda unless you have one of those um, uh, trade tokens covering up that space. Once you've actually calculated how much you have in the upkeep, that's time to pay the keeper. So your materials and your energy pay for one um, upkeep and your food pays for two upkeep. You have to use your resources. If you can pay it, you have to pay it. But if you can't, 
um, uh, you're out of all three of those resor uh, resources, then for every upkeep you have, you have at, you, you lose four um, of your uh, influence. It is important to note on this one, you can't use your science and you cannot use um, your uh, so, uh, money to, to result this. Um, once we've done that, we've all resulted, and you can actually do that simultaneously if you want to speed up the game rather than each player doing it individually. Um, that's a perfect opportunity to result these all in one go because the next stage within uh, section C is actually determining the galactic um, uh, agendas. So on the bottom of this card, you can actually see that we've got two objectives you're trying to achieve. If you achieve the objective, you get the reward. Um, and once more, it's a green line. So if you achieve the second objective, you can get that second reward as well. If you do not succeed on either of, uh, of these objectives or you choose not to claim either of them, you can claim the um, uh, bonus at the bottom of that card. Then we move in to our um, influence on our agenda. So as you saw before when I was showing off the agenda cards, they have influence that you earn for completing different things specific to your house. Result those up and add those to your influence. That's as simple as, as it is. Sounds It is a bit more complicated when you're doing it, but it does is pretty quick and easy to explain. When you get into turn four, every void born in a region, which we'll touch on um, when we get to the miniatures and components, um, if there's more than three, they are returned not to the, um, the, the supply, but they are returned to a uh, uh, mental blank. Um, what are they called? They're fissions. Yeah, so to, to the rift. They're returned to any of the rifts. In our case, we have two, so they're returned evenly to each of those rifts. And that is one full cycle. Um, we then uh, rinse and repeat, starting back at A on the second cycle, run all the way through, um, repeat it, and then repeat it one final time for this third cycle. That is a lot of information, but we have not finished yet because there is still more. We are playing cooperative mode, so we have the AI, which is also going to play with us and make things fun. So at the start of your, as we saw up here, at the start of everyone's turn, so this is in B, every, before you get to play a card, you are going to flip a card from this deck. This is going to give you the sex, uh, success criteria um, uh, on how you can actually avoid this. If you successfully complete that within your turn, it is put into the discard. You do not need to worry about it. You are done and dusted because you are awesome. If you do not complete that within your turn, you either take the resulting pain at the bottom or punishment, or you move that into the ongoing track. So everything would move down and you uh, now everyone's problem is to resolve these actions. It's important to note that when we're up on this board up here, you cannot resolve both your action and an action within the existing track. So it is a bit of a push and play um, and trying to actually complete multiple things is very difficult. You'll also notice that as, before you get to play a card, you have to resolve the cost. So using the leftmost open free space, you can see that on the first cycle, no pain is going to happen. But if this, if this card is uh, visible or this section is visible on the second cycle, we are going to lose resources or we're going to get a um, catastrophe. Um, catastrophes, if you get four of them, the fourth one causes you to automatically lose and the game is over. If you have to flip, uh, no, not that one. If at any time you were to have to play into this section, that's an automatic. Uh, so this card in, for instance, now it could actually go in either one, but if, for instance, if this had to go down the bottom, it would actually force this card to be a catastrophe and all other cards would move up the cycle until they're able to fit on the board. 
once more, for catastrophes you are dead. It is also important to note that each catastrophe you have makes it harder at the end scoring. So this is the end scoring here. If at any time a player has more than 300 influence and there are no rifts open, automatic game win. If we finish all three cycles, then this is how the Voidborn is going to score. They're going to get 230 points, 50 for every open riff, um, 10 for every uh, catastrophe, um, 10 for every research we've undertaken, and, and 10 for any cards that are still on the tiles. So we just need to make sure that we're trying to balance that as much as possible. And that is the automated turn functions for the Voidborn. You'll notice there's a lot of different cards within there. Um, some of them force them to attack us, some of them force uh, us to lose resources or um, spawn out different components. We also have the joint focus cards. The simplest way to explain them is as a way of upgrading our joint uh, our focus cards and that's where we'll jump straight into that component. So I'm going to grab these cards out of my hand because you don't need them once you've um, started your turn, you don't need them. What you do need in your hand are your development cards. Now your development cards, as we showed before, you have three different options on them and you're going to choose two of those options. Once you've chosen those, once you, you don't have to choose them and, and say which actions you're gonna do. You can actually do one action do, and do the other, but we are playing a 4X, um, Euro game, so more than likely you've already planned out what you're doing. You can do them in any order. It doesn't have to be in the order of the actual cards. When you choose the action you're going to do, you're going to pay the cost in white, and then you're going to get the resulting action below it. Important to note once more, red lines mean or, there's, you can, it's one or the other, whereas green line means you can do one and the other. Different cards have different icons, and this is where we actually get into the. Um, this is where we get into the upgrade function. So, if I was to, for instance, play the progress card, one of the options we had over here was that we could also play a not an upgrade, sorry, a an agenda card. So because this icon matches the icon on the agenda, I'm able to play this from my hand. We once more pay the cost, we pay, uh, we get the reward, and once we've done that, that would get slotted underneath one of our existing um, available um, spots. When we get to the corruption, you'll notice that if there's a spot there, it actually removes this card and we lose the option. If there's one here, I cannot play into that section. You can, once you've played an agenda, you can just get the bonus and then discard it. You don't have to play it down. Um, that is also perfectly valid. And that does not affect the two actions you have on that card. Once more, you'll notice that we have those three upkeep. And if you have that trade token on any of your available um, uh, agendas, you can actually flip that to get the third action on that card. Agen uh, the tokens live on, on these cards, so you'll only have a certain amount of them, amount of them through the game, um, but they do have multiple effects to help you throughout. Um, let's quickly touch back to the turn circle, turn circle to make sure I covered off everything. So now we do know how to um, resolve that first action. We know how to play cards, um, and, and with the extra options that are going to be involved in that, we know how to resolve the events, um, and we know um, what happens if we don't resolve the event at the end. This leaves us into the last part of this, which is one of the big reasons it is a Kickstarter, and that is the miniatures. So we are going to be building ships and creating different components throughout our game. It is important to note that just as these sectors represent, even though they're next to each other, they are still millions of light years apart. These fleets and these um, representations of these beautiful um, little uh, standees only represent the type of ship. This is nothing without, uh, let's use space, without the associated power. So for instance, now this is a 
corvette fleet with a power of one. It's not saying that you have one ship that is has a power of one. What it's saying is you have a fleet of corvette style ships and together they have a power of one. You notice that on the corvettes they have a capacity to have three but as you get to the bigger ships like the destroyers, the um, uh, dreadnoughts and the carriers which also cost you upkeep at the end of the turn they only have two spots when we're talking about a fleet this is one fleet and this is a separate fleet um, if you have a uh, uh, influence on it for instance so if that has a thing these are two separate fleets if i was to have two corvettes within a region um, at no cost so for instance if i was to have this at present this is two separate fleets that i have to that i would have to pay upkeep for now corvettes don't have an upkeep so you don't need to worry about it. if i had two dreadnoughts over here for instance then that would actually cost me two but this is where i can only have two in a region when i finish my turn so this would be perfectly fine if this had a, a stand a on it but this would not I don't need a card, I can do consolidation and move things around because once more, this is not representing a ship, it's representing the fleet of ships and the power of the entire fleet. So doing that within your turn isn't something that costs you an action because you're um, actually just uh, keeping those ships. But same if I was to actually move um, my Corvette fleet over to here, I don't have to move the entire stand. I could actually just move one of the fleet power within that stand, splitting my fleet into two, but then still keeping that component there. If at any time you are wanting to um, initiate a fight, which is what we are doing against the Voidborn, we are going to use this as an example. Anytime we initiate a fight, you move into a sector that contains an opponent, um, you are going to trigger a battle. Now, it's important to note that unlike most games, battle in um, Voidfall is deterministic. So what will actually happen is you know the outcome when you go into it. You know how many ships are currently in there. You also know how many defenses they might have to soak up your damage. So you also might know how much damage they're going to deal to you. In determining it, most of the time, it, you first determine the initiative, and initiative is always determined by the number of ships you have. So in this instance, our Corvettes are worth one, so they've actually got an initiative three, but there's only two Voidborns, so they've got an initiative of two. Up the top here, we do have a nice handy little um, reference that actually tells us the full steps going through a pro the approach and salvo but realistically as I said before most of the time those battles are going to be very straightforward and I'm not going to go into any difficult kind of battles within the, the to teach because we'd be here for hours I'm cognizant that we've already been here for quite a while so let's quickly move through this last part We've already determined that the influence I have three and the avoid uh, the void born have two so I would actually get to go first. It is as simple as removing one of theirs. Um, it is now their turn in the initiative, so they're going to remove one of mine. It is now my turn. I'm going to remove one of theirs. They have no actions left. I win the battle with two remaining. Let's actually repeat that again with two. Um, if I was to come in, uh, depending on there's different modifiers, I've got an uh, initiative of two, they've got an initiative of two. We're actually going to take it at the same time. We would both lose an a, 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 a tile and it would become an empty space. If there is ever an empty space, void born return because they are not so much a military power as they are controlling force, controlling people's minds and corrupting and um, uh, taking over. So let's go back to that first example where we actually invaded with three instead of two. We are successful, we've got this. We are going to get a liberation bonus. Now we're actually gonna get a bounty as well for this particular reason, region, but for the most part, we'll actually cover those when they come up. The main thing that we get for every region because it has a corruption in that region and we've just liberated that, re uh, that sector, we are gonna get a bonus based on every sector we currently control. So for instance, if we control our home planet and this sector, this sector up here, then we're actually going to get 
three times the uh, um, sectors we already have. So we're going to get six influence for that. From there, we're actually going to take the corruption and we have multiple choices that we're going to do with this. It does not get discarded because once more it is corrupted. It is people's minds that are corrupted. So we either can leave it where it is um, and that's going to prevent that population from ever growing. So we can't actually grow it to increase the uh, production of that region. We can move it to another region that we control. Or, and I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Let's put a mark in there so I can edit that out. Um, or you can put it on your player board. So the options are you can put it uh, and block off one of your agenda tiles. But this means that you lose any agenda that is currently there and you are not able to play any further agendas. The other option is you're able to put it on one of these negative icons um, and you can see that in there it means that you can't play certain cards. So for instance, you wouldn't be able to play the prosperity card, the, uh, I think there's a card that I've already thing, but yeah, there's cards that you are no longer able to play until you get rid of that corruption. You've also got this one here, which I'll, I'll let you research the icons yourself. And you've got this one here, which adds to your um, adds to your upkeep. And that has been a lot of talking. I am out of breath. I am out of voice. It is most important that you keep track of your agendas because they are going to be your best source of scoring influence, which is how you win. Wow. Wow. Board this game, eh? Hey? Game is big. Game is immense. This game is game immense. Is it's a 4X Euro, so it is definitely immense. Um, uh, just quickly, so Doc Savage asks, is there a tutorial game with example rounds and such? Um, no. So on Kickstarter, Starter, they haven't created that yet. Um, I have actually given them that feedback because uh, this is probably one of the hardest games I've ever learned. Um, and that's mainly probably because it is in pre-production. So they haven't done a lot of the um, the rules clean up and, and, and making it as simple as possible. Um, but I would imagine that... Uh, as the game becomes uh, retail or you know, goes into production, um, that they will have um, very clear and concise te um, teaching mechanics to, to help alleviate um, that pain that I just went through. How long was I talking for? Like, it's well, enough time. Just enough. Yeah. Whatever the equivalent of enough is, that's how long yeah. you were talking for. It's it's actually also worth mentioning that um, that's actually, I guarantee it, because we've been about 30 minutes. Um, thanks, Doc. Uh, the the every, every teach that I've seen so far, the shortest I have seen that makes any sense was 45 minutes. Um, uh, a related question, how long was I listening for? How long were you guys listening for? <laughs> the whole time, mate. Exactly, I never mate. even, <laughs> wouldn't have even blinked, barely blinked. I'm just going to um, say, Dan, my audio went a little bit funny after Dave said good day. <laughs> <Good day. laughs> um, I've got a question before we jump in. And Shoot. I know we're probably going to go there. Yes. Um, and that is, at the moment, there is three home bases and Correct. three home worlds, but four players. Correct. So, um, uh, unfortunately, they do not have the fourth player um, board ready. They said they did, um, and I reached mm. out to them last night. So, you three are going to play, and I'm going to run the stream, um, and I'll also run the Void Bomb, because um, that way, hopefully, if you guys are focused on your turns and your turn order, and I focus on um, making sure that we meet all of the um, requirements, we won't have a super long these kind of games, your first game can always be quite long. Mm -hmm. So if we, I was thinking if we did that, um, I can kind of hopefully um, prevent you guys from having to do all of the rules lawyering and slow down the game um, through that process. How does that sound for Doc everyone? Savage for. Doc Savage there, the rules lawyer. <laughs> um... but, but he will also probably go to sleep at some point. 
Um, now, I, I, I'm not saying that because I don't expect you guys to also go to sleep at some point, um, but it's also, it is, um, yeah, it, it's, it's a bit slow to, uh, to get a response from a chat. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Did you guys reset everything as I was doing the talk through or yes, it looks we like reset you did. as much as we could. I've just yep. got a notice. There's some corruption that we need to fix. So we need to fix that. Cool. I don't know where this card came from. There was a card that just made it into my hand called deep space missiles. And I don't know where it came from. Uh, deep space missiles. Uh oh, it would come from. I can just reset if we, if we wanted to, but you would lose your, uh, uh, deep space missiles over here. Um, yeah. Yeah, nice. So I would lose my what? You would lose your exactly. cameras. You'd lose your cameras. Yeah. So, I haven't got that many cameras, to be honest. But Cool. So, David, I'm going to jump out of yellow, um, and you can jump into yellow. Sure. Um, are, you, are you purple cool. at the moment? I'm in blue, yeah. You're in, oh, no. So, Rowan. No, nah, Rowan's purple. Rowan's purple, yellow. yeah. So, we'll Rowan change color to yellow. There you go. I changed color for you, Rowan. You're over here now, mate. So your cameras have just been stitched up. So go on. Yep. Beautiful. Sorry for that. Sorry about that. So what you are going to do is first choose between um, your desired. Um, yeah, absolutely. Agenda. I'm first go, agenda. I'm going to choose energy cells for myself. Uh, Callum Doc says uh, his herbal tea is done. So sleep is likely sooner rather than later. <laughs> Yeah, fair, that makes sense. Look, in, in your defense, fair. All right, so I'm choosing my orbital, sorry, my energy cells, which means I have, I'm not really sure what the first one is, the five cubes. Thanks for the I follow, Doc that's, Savage. That's, that's, I gain a fleet power, I believe it is. I gain five fleet power. Um, yeah, I gain five fleet power now to start off with, and I increase my yep. society up the marker. Correct. I so... don't know where to track my, um, Fleet power, to be honest. Yeah, your so your fleet power. Mm -hmm. Where's oh yeah, so that you grab. Uh, where's your your scene? So here, you grab yep. five of them and put them onto your board. Nice, sweet. So does that I'll make do that sense to everyone? So if you once you've chosen your, have you chosen that one, David? Yep. So flip it over. If you flip, flip it over, over before under that, it actually tells you how to set up. So this sure, is sure. going to be your production. You're going to get two starting fleet power. So we'll grab those two for you. And they go onto your board. So you've got your supply, which is off to the side, and then you've got your board. So um, in order to create armies, you actually need to have the fleet power ready and on your board, um, uh, which cards will actually do um, to get that. Cool. Uh, Rowan, you have um, chosen. Uh, I'm thinking of shields, or well, shields. I'm thinking, but what do you guys reckon? It's cooperative, so it's escapes pods or shields. Well, I've. So I uh, yeah I I'm I'm sort of going down the uh, the, the the food track the the um we've got a bit of food a bit of uh, a bit of maintenance there a bit of money so not really very def offensive for me so I'm usually more offensive than this but I've gone down a similar I've gone down the energy track so just sort of being friends you know well um, you are all friends together but it is important to know you'd probably do want someone that's going to be doing more attackish and someone to do more. So, so the escape pods seems to me like that three, that three, uh, that that number three there yeah, on the end. escape pods oh, right, is yeah, is got that 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 is to do with your power. Is that right, Dan? So, what what do we call that? We've got that fleet power. So the the the, the number of cubes. Yep. So they he's going to start power. with three. I think um, yep. Callum actually starts with the most. But yeah, so you would start with three fleet power. So we're going to grab those from up here and they're going to come into your board. So how do I discard that one? Uh, that will discard in a second, yeah. So, and then you will get rid of that one as well. So then you're going to set uh, this resource track to this left side and your starting uh, stockpile to the right side. So green is going to be three. Is that here? Oh, no. no yeah, it's over, over here, yeah. Oh yeah, right, gotcha. Yep, yep, yep. Um, which is three. Yep. Um, so yellow is going to be two. So I can read it out to you if you want. Yep. Yellow is going to be two. Pink's going to be two. Yep. And then you start with zero uh, science and money, or production that is. On the right side, green is going to be three. 
yellow is going to be three. Um, per pink is going to be three. Blue is going to be five. And gray is going to be four. So then, can you confirm that I've said that when you get the chance? If the house Dunlock, can you confirm when they? Yep, I'll have a look. Yeah. Through? So then, also you get to increase your um, green by one. So where's your where's your green tile token? Oh, where's that? Where's that gone? Uh, that's all right. You know what? I'll uh, I'll do some magic. There we go. Ah, all right. <laughs> uh, so then, yeah, that goes up by one. Uh, and you're going to get a um, tokens to start with, so one of those uh, trade tokens. Um, you and then this is how you set up your starting regions. So you're going to have two populations: your home base. Um, uh, yep. So then you just kind of set these up. Um, so you guys actually get to choose between the three of you where you want your home bases. Um, you'll also notice that next to each home base is a second sector, um, and that's what that that blank sector is there for you, to tell you. Um, Callum, did you want looking at yours? I'm pretty confident that You're I've set confident. myself up. So I, I get to start off with the fleet power of five, and then yep. I have to deploy two of it there and one Correct. of it there. And did you do, do your then... green civilization upgrade? Yes, you did. Yeah. Beautiful. Sweet. And you've done all of yours. Cool. Let's check David's Get out. shipyard. Yep. I have, um, and I'll uh, upgrade your green for you. Uh, I've got a, a red, a yellow, and a green. Pretty confident that I'm going to be last. <laughs> I'm, as, I'm, I'm, because I'm 16. So, no, no. So that's in competitive mode. Um, oh, so uh, okay. in this mode, those four cards that you start in your hand, that's yep. the the going to determine the order. Okay. So you're going to play. If I was in competitive mode, we'd ha I'd have to start at sixteen because Correct. I get all those extra benefits. But by not because we're all just all friends, all happy, happy, happy go lucky. I like that for us. Thanks, Doc. Have a good night. Hopefully, you, hopefully, uh, um, the 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 herbal tea kicks in nice. Absolutely, my friend. Enjoy, enjoy the rest. Uh, it's well deserved. Now, do we start with the fleet power on our fleet? Is that do we take it off the board yet? Is that what we do? Because I've put two uh, fleet cubes. Yeah. No. So that those are that's two fleet power that starts on your board, as well as the fleet that starts on your oh, on okay, the ships cool. as well. That is not what I did. So it's. I'm ninety percent sure. Me. Let us yep, yep, consult yep. the rules. No, that makes but that makes sense. That makes sense. That's how it's I there. Don't really get a benefit of having five because I already immediately lose it again. Yeah. Well, that's that's kind of what I was looking at as well. So. Is. So is there a maximum amount of fleet power? Like once I've used all my cubes, I can't have any more fleet power. Uh, correct, cubes. yes. Um, but it is also important to note that if you were to lose, so for instance, in a battle, when mm. I when I showed that battle before and I lost fleet power from that, it doesn't go back into the supply. It goes back onto your board. Okay. Battles yeah, cool. in, in, in Voidfall, uh, as I said, deterministic, but they're also like they're long drawn out sagas. They're not mm -hmm. quick and, you know, they're not um, like uh, Eclipse Second Dawn, mm -hmm. where it's, you know, it's a very kind of fast, r rapid kind of uh, hitting hitting everyone. Um, in this, this uh, these are like long drawn out sagas. So, yeah. Uh, quickly. In preparation for me doing dumb stuff, which is something I'd like to do, if I left, say, this base with my Corvette and this Corvette and went into this base, Voidborn would come into that sector, wouldn't Correct. it? Correct. It would come into uh, any sector with the exception of your home world. Yep. Um, it would come, yeah, vo uh, it, it would corrupt that region and it would also automatically put one void uh, uh, Voidborn fleet into there. Oof. Okay, good to know. So before you leave, you don't really want to leave a region if you can. Um, but yeah, it is just an important factor to be considerate of. Now, I noticed on the agenda card, the uh, the top hex has all of your yep. your um yeah, your home world. The yep. next one down though, what's that one? So that's, that's the uh, adjacent sector. So over here, which okay. one is your sector? Are you blue? Yeah, yes, so you're blue. I'm blue. So, so I'm this is this left. sector here. Okay, so yep. yep. So, I put so you're gonna Corvette in there. Yep. So you're gonna grab a blue dice. You're gonna put it into there. Yeah. Um, and it's gonna tell you. I think it was two. It's starting on. Yep. 
So it's important to note. So with it, uh, and I don't think I mentioned that, but the the how you determine what your production value is is based on the population of that dice. So and that's where you, it's already done for you. You can actually see that you've got um, two, two, and one starting in in those sectors. So. Two, three. So that's the probably the big thing. Oh, okay, yeah, three is generating two. Yeah, cool. That's how ready I am. Awesome. Everyone is set up and ready. I think we're good. All right, so grab All your good. extra cards. And we're just going to chuck them over to pink. Pink can be our dumping ground. What do you mean? Oh, so... This section, what? over here. Just chuck them over here. Oh, any yeah, yeah, any used components. Yes, um, what are B, these? Yeah. Uh, who's missing a priority card? I don't think anyone is. Are they? Oh, that was my, that's my one. I put it there. Oh, okay, that's you've already one. played yeah. your... Yep, cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, so flip and put it underneath. That just goes there. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, now someone actually had. Let's flip it quickly. Not you. Someone started with a trade token. God, uh, Rowan did. Rowan did. Yep. Have you got that trade token, Rowan? Uh, negative. I nope. Think. Cool. So then we flip that. Ah, uh, that's. Okay. Yep. And that goes just on that corner part there. Question with this innovation, does that innovation come into my focus cards because it's randomly flipped up and? Uh no no that um that stays that's something that you uh yeah I'm not sure that was that was left out to the side we're meant to have uh nine cards I think the innovation is a card you can upgrade to okay yeah it is so you can see down the bottom it's got a two on the card it means that that's a card that you can go to okay cool so then I pick up there one are nine cards in our hand is that right. Uh, yeah, so you should have nine cards in your hand. So maybe that's not the thing, but yeah, I'll find out what while you guys uh, get ready. Um, so on the first turn, we're not going to be flipping over any trade tokens. We don't need to do any of the science because that's already done for us. We are going to, from your hands, using one of the priority cards. So these are the smaller cards. Choose one and place it face down in this section here. And that's going to set the turn order for the rest of the um, cycle. Guys. Okay. We don't know what, what's underneath it, so we just drop it over there. Uh correct, yeah. Uh so just remember which one's yours though, yeah. Yeah. That's yours, Rowan. And, that's yours, uh, David. Cool. Uh, and that's that's mine. Uh yep, so it's gonna go in this turn order. So Rowan, you're gonna be first. David okay, second so and second. Callum is third. So, uh, Rowan, you are going to get to choose between these two cards. Well, look at them, shall we, big fella? What do we feel? Like? Mm. They have an intense expansion. So Ooh. each player gets a. Is that a what? What is that one? That's the. Um, I think is that a star base or a sector defense? I think it's a sector defense. So each player gets a sector defense for each. Void Boyne acceptance. So you'll have, well, that's just a party for you, mate. That is an absolute party. Good golly. And each player may get, I don't know what that thing is. No, I think that's to go go up on one of your tracks. Is that right? Yeah. I think that's up, what it is. I think up on one of your, you reckon, like your society, your, oh, um, let me have a look. Let me have a Sta look. Stagecraft or economics? Stagecraft it says, economics. It says, yes, it says advance on any civilization track. So you can nice. move up on one of the th one of the three. So they can if they want to. Sweet. Yeah. Um, alternate, and we'll get to play four cards. So that'll be good. Oh, or, yeah. um, oh, okay. And that's how we bring innovation in. So each player may add, once again, a security and a bank by the looks of it for each. Oh, that's a pretty good card. And we get the opportunity to use that innovation. Mm. And innovation. Innovation can Inno be nice. Innovation focus. Now, where would we find our innovation focus? It is. That's just the focus you. card, yeah. 
for the extra cards. So the cards, the nine cards in our hand uh, are the focus cards. Yeah. Okay. So they're focus cards, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. <clears throat> so Rowan, once you've chosen, I'm gonna transition into rather than having a camera of me, because I'm not really playing, transition to a different view. So it's actually got um this one here. I so you're gonna save like one camera view and then put that in the slot and then have the other one moving, because that'd be crazy. <laughs> no no i've just i've just moved the um the, the 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 game is taking up the whole region nice makes sense so what do we decide all right so this one here you've decided technology boom all right we're just getting rid i'll of get rid of that one cool get rid of it flip it over yep. it so you're going to do this one backboard. yep all cool. right okay cool so each player adds one one adjacent two. Yep. So. Okay. Yep. So okay. where where the voidborns are, they'll be adding so they could add to adjacent ones here. Yep. That everyone gets to place one. Yeah, I've got that, 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 uh, that doesn't happen until we get to that phase. Though, no, no. Right? So that's what we're at now. So that's phase number three. Oh, so each right. player adds one. Yep. Yeah, adds one. Um. To one a, adjacent. Two. To one adjacent Voidborn sector. Uh huh. Well, I only have one. So that would now need. You and I. Oh. Yes. You and yep. I. So I'm four. Oh, no, David, you can do it up here. Uh, oh, yes. Oh. Yep. 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 So yep. I would recommend, I would highly recommend you go up there because then yep, Rowan definitely. can do. So Rowan can do either we'll here or here. here. Yeah. We're or here. Oh, we've got to add it to theirs. Yeah, you add it to theirs. Yeah. Oh, so no. Okay. So Callum can go there, too. there. Rowan, you could go there or there or there. What are we thinking, Cal? We want to. Well, I think. Well, I if we, we give them, if we give the more turns we give them, the harder it's going to be for us. I was thinking of potentially giving one up here. Yep. So that it's out of my slack, so I don't, it doesn't affect me as much. But and Rowan, these guys you are probably too fleet strong. You probably will want to do that the same same thing down here. So rather than playing that one there, you might want to play it down yeah. here. Yeah. Down here. Okay. Uh, yep. Um, what do you reckon? Do you reckon I leave that one, buff up the bounty, and then get an extra sector here? It's it's going to be that's that's yeah. What's your tactics here? Are you going to be? And well, what is a harbinger? Are they the equivalent of two voidborns? Like, no. So a harbinger is nothing. It's not going to hurt you in any way. But if you go into that region and claim it, they are going to alert. And if they alert. They come down to this board down here. So you can see these harbingers on here. Mm -hmm. um, and they clog up this region. So these cards ah. are going to be in danger of getting pushed off prematurely because harbingers are kind of like creating threat. So that harbinger, when you go into a region, it's not something you attack or you know, they just they get alert. Um, and you yeah. can accident accidentally alert them as well. So so, so Voidborn are like in control of this sector anyway, so I might go there and that way I can go up here. Yeah? That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I'll take the right-hand side board and just sort of push. Anyway, cool. Cool. So everyone's played their one? Yes. Uh, yeah. um, each player may increase their... What's that mm. symbol? One of our society tracks. Oh, yes, your civilization track. track. Yeah. So then you, you result whatever that civilization track upgrade is. Okay. Now I have to oh, so do I automatically, point. because I've already increased my green track, do I already get my additional 1-1 one, one, um, science and money? Or, or how did I get that? So do you see on my board how, because I've already had to increase my society in accordance with my card, did I get that result immediately? Um, oh, wow. Why did targeting have that? Um, so, you know, so when you're doing it in the first, uh, on your first from your card, it doesn't mm -hmm. result that, um, that action. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So that's already there. So it makes sense. Um, put you back. But every time you do it from now, you will. So, sorry, I was just removing your extra. You don't yeah, need those yeah, extra cards. Yeah. That. yeah. 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 Well, I'm going to go up on the, the green society track because that's going to mean that I can add a, craft, uh, is it? add a guild. So that's what I'm going to do. What level were you already? On the I was at level, I was on the first level of green, but I'm actually going to go up to the second level of green. So I'm actually going to go up yeah. one. So that's place a guild. Oh, yeah. Hang on, actually. Is that but a... you can't place what guild can't place? Is that a 
Is that a bank? Heart place a bank. Yeah. You reckon, yeah maybe, cool. Actually, that maybe is not such a good idea. Maybe I should get some extra. Population? So you, this one will be getting more fleet power? Mm. Mm. And that one would be getting a trade token, but I don't necessarily need a trade Oh, hold on a sec. No, that's getting you. Is it getting you fleet power or is it getting you materials? Getting me... It's getting me fleet power. Why oh, yeah, that's fleet power. power. It's got the yellow so, underneath it. Yep, yeah. If it's got the yellow underneath it, it's fleet power. If it's just the four squares, it's the material. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm going to go up on the green track. Society. I'm going to do that as well, but I'm going to increase my population. Is that my population in one area or in yes. all areas? In in uh, where does it say? Uh, it says except for your home. So you, okay, you yeah. can't do it on your home. Okay. Oh, okay. Then uh, yeah. oh, okay. And what is what are the what does the millions of arrows do? I'm pretty sure that is the growth. So that is one of get you get an agenda. Let's have a look. I'd imagine that's what it means. Yeah, that leg, yeah, that matches the, the extra arrows. That I get. Yeah, sweet. It's a lot more arrows than I was ex would expect to see, but it does matter. That's the only thing I can think of being. Yeah, there's no icon on, on here that I can see that matches that. So. So I might get another agenda then. Oh, and sorry guys, there's actually an extra thing that we did kind of go through. Yeah. Um, which are these joints? So, um, one of your cards, you'll actually notice is the leadership card mm -hmm. oopsies yep um the leadership card is a special um special focus card only for cooperative mode and allows someone else to do actions so one like there's two actions on the card that allows uh, someone else to do actions but it also allows you to um uh upgrade a um to a joint politics card so you'll notice that the symbols at the top you actually have symbols at the top of each of these cards. Um, you upgrade one of your existing focus cards to match these ones. So for instance, prosperity becomes joint po prosperity. Um, politics oh. becomes joint politics. So you discard the present politics mm -hmm. and you take the joint politics card. Okay. Cool. So as everyone upgraded their um, civilization. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to increase my bull. I don't need blue power. Um, I can't increase my home base, but I can increase over here so that when I do build an extra thing, I'm going to make that a three. Boom. Done. What's my blue statecraft oh, that's bonus? That's a lie. I'm building a guild. That? I add an extra cube. What's the cube? Sorry. Um, where's this for? Sorry. On my blue state, the middle, my middle, um, statecraft. Oh, yep. Yep. Yep, and I get a, I get a Yep, so that is a fleet power. So you'd get an extra fleet power in here. I'm going to increase my production. So I'm going to put a miner's guild instead into this one. Um, That's what I decided. Is that mentioned here? Deploy. Yeah, so it, it is. Yeah, so it's a gain a fleet power. Which is a cube onto your board. Correct, yep. Sweet. That's me done. I'm ready. Cool. Next thing. I'll go. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. And how do the fleet powers go from my board to my ships? You Using deploy. Your focus cards. So there's a there's a couple of different focus cards um, that deploy. So you can actually take your um, priority cards out of your hand for the moment if you want to free up your hand a little bit. You don't need them until the start of the next cycle. Or can I open all these so I can see them? Uh, if you hover over and push the Alt key, yeah, um, that will make it nice and big for you. But like at the moment we got we're playing closed hands. Is there a reason for that? Or if it's a cooperative game, with can we just play an open hand? You yeah, all of our cards are the same. Yeah, all all the cards are the same. We've all got the same cards. Yeah, yeah, everyone has the exact same cards. Yeah. We just have to choose what actions we want to do. Yeah. No reason for them. To so the reason I've got them in my hand is because my um board is wacky sideways to you guys. So and same with David Ashim. So I just want to be able to have access to them wherever I go. Okay, so I'm not sure what action I should play first. I've got, yeah. Yep, so uh, everyone's resulted to the thing. So yes, now we're up to the first. So before you actually play a card, Rowan, you're going to get an event. That event Does is... Get... Did he, did he get any yet? Could we get any of these things yet? Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 sorry. Yes. Sorry, yeah, yeah, quickly, Rowan. So you get, um, Rowan, you're going to get a bounty. Mm. 
Um, what is the bounty? Where's the... Uh, Here's the bounty token. I pulled out a bounty token there. Yep. If I flip it over, does it... Oh, there you go. That's what you get, mate. There you go. It's, it's got him. Yep, cool. Um, so, um, David, your everything's going to go up by one. Your, okay, so does it go yeah, up on your... Mate, no, on your stockpile. On your stockpile. Oh, or does, do you get a bank? He gets a bank, doesn't he? You can put a bank somewhere, man. Where are you going to put a bank? Um, and Callum, put a you get a fleet power and you get to place a fleet power. Sweet. So I'm going to take it straight from here and I'm going to put it... <coughs> cool. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. So resolving first stage in... Um, first in the... Uh, in Rowan's turn. Um, your event is... While performing the general production effect. Before he does that, just oh, quickly, yep. he gets to place his banker's guild. Where do you want oh, to yeah. place your banker's guild? So it can't, it can only go into a neighboring sector, yeah? Yeah, in yeah, a sector you control, sector, yeah. 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 Oh, no. yeah. Cool. So that's I your bounty done. Put that penny. Yeah, I'm just going to put it over here. Just yeah. Maybe it yeah. mean something later. Cool. <laughs> so your first uh, is networked uh, industrialization. While performing the general production effect on production, gain 15 more influence. Um, the punishment at the end is if you, if you don't play the general production, um, then destroy two sector defences. If you can't do any of those actions at any time, you can't take the... Like, um, you can't take that option, so. We don't have sector defenses, so we no. can't do that. Nope. So that's going to go down. No, no. So that's at the end of his turn if he doesn't do the top action. Okay. So if he plays, if he plays the production focus and mm -hmm. uses the general production effect, then he's going to gain an extra 15, 15. or more. Um, yeah. You, oh, no. You need, you need to gain more than 15 or more influence to prevent this card. So what's the general production card just out of interest? Yeah, that's here. Um, so you increase your society production. track, and then you, so for instance, I'll put that here for anybody yep. who wants to look at it. Oh, cool. So it's just there. I'll yep. put it next to Ron's board as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the general production is the, is any one of them general production? I'm guessing that that's just the, Middle one. So do you, and you take yep. two actions, don't you? That's what that two stands for. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So you take two actions of these three. Yeah. Yeah. So the general Before... production is that middle one. Uh, so if you were to produce more than fifteen, you negate the event. Now I don't. At the moment, let's have a look at what you don't do. Don't think so you're you going to be able to. Three, six, four. So four, seven. You can produce seven. You can produce seven times two for seven. fourteen. Yeah. yeah. So you'd get you'd actually get fourteen. Um, but actually, no. Wait a second. You placed a guild with a bank. Does he not increase his production because he placed a guild? Uh, a yes, but it's not going. So it's, it will increase that for sure. Absolutely. Um, and it increases it, it by into... two. So it increases it by two because the population is two. Yeah. So sorry. Oh, sorry. Yep. But it um, doesn't. It's not. In but this it's category. correct. Yeah. It's not something that generates. Of the system where the bank is is. So hold up, hold up. Hold up. What you could potentially do, because it is times two. Yep. So to talk you through your story. So you've taken first action, which yep. is to increase your societal track, yep. which allows you to do an increase in yes. or to place an additional guild. Mm. And as long as you place a guild of food, something else or something else, you'll actually increase that one. And my recommendation is you do either energy or materials, which will bring that up to three, three. And then when you do your general production, you'll actually get to at least 16, I believe. Yes. Yeah. That's how to do it. All right. So I'm just let me think that I'm, I'm doing the action, which is at the top of the card. Yeah. So do you yep. want to put yours out instead yeah. of mine? Put, yeah. Put your, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. So I'm playing that. Nice. Yeah. I'm doing that. In, in, yep, in so that's that, the first action. To, so you're going to play a guild, and you can't play. You can't play it in your home base. You have to play it in the non-home base. Yep. So he's taking yep. that secondary action. That one. Yep. 
I'm going to put that in your banker. Nice. Um, but before that we do that, we have to do the cost of that. So that is in the white section. Okay. Is to Testing. void born deployment. Uh, where's the void born deployment? Okay. In the corrupted areas. Yeah. In all corrupted areas? That's what I'm just having a look look at oh, now. Oh, you so. should talk in mushroom. There's a is it all? Look. Surely not. Is that on your automation card? Is it no, no. So that's on your on the card you play. The cost of playing it is uh, to increase your societal to increase your societal yep. um, production. Yeah. yeah. Um, you have to pay a void born deployment, and yep. we're finding out what a void born deployment. The is. void born de uh, void born fleets are not made of separate bases or multiple fleet powers. Each of its fleets have power of one. For purposes of combat, they behave like a regular Corvette fleets with one power. Some games' effects will allow you to remove one Void Born fleet, simply remove their fleet marker, etc. Some costs will trigger you uh, trigger Void Born deployment. When instructed to do so before resolving the benefit or in question, since it's a cost, place a Void Born fleet or sector defense, see below, in a Void Born sector, adjacent to at least one of your sectors okay so you can put a void born fleet here 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 or here so you if, have to place one singular one if multiple void born void born sectors are adjacent to your sectors uh select the one with the fewest fleets if multiple okay. void born sectors adjacent to your sectors have an equal number of fleets select the one with the highest population if there are still multiple options the with equal fleet production uh, fleets and population you may choose either of them then Absolutely. do the first possible one of the following list yes, if the so sector has one or two yep if the sector has one or two void born floor fleets in the um, place of void born fleet in there if the sector has a, a fewer sector def uh, has fewer sector defenses then the current cycle number um so we're in cycle um one so it's zero if it has none place a sector defense there um otherwise place a void bomb fleet there note during the evaluation it will be moved down to three so you don't need to worry about it because you there was only there was the uh, yeah so he's that, putting a singular void area. one fleet into this area here because it is it was empty and now it has one. Correct. Yep. Cool. Happy days. And then you've gone up your societal track, which allows you to place a guild. What and you've chosen to build a food guild here, which increases your production of food by two. Is that correct? Correct. Yep. Um. So you go to the plus two here. So press that twice. Sweet. Sweet. So that's now. Uh, so that's it. That's fine. I know you've done it because it's it's this number here. The six is now. So you went from four to okay. six. So okay. four, I... six, yep. eight, and then you'll take the production action, the general and production action, again. which allows you to. Does that allow him to place guilds, or just produce uh, according to those things? No, he's producing according to those things. Uh, but it's only producing if there's no corruption in there. So notice how because he doesn't have a corruption there, it's going to produce. So it's fine. But if you had, if you controlled a region, but you left the corruption there, then the guilds aren't going to produce for you. And in this case here, you're going to get a total of, if you go back to your score, you get eight food to give yep. yourself four food. Sorry, four food. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, one, two, three, four. Two electricity. One food. And two materials. One, two, and you have eight. Um, Production, so you're going to get two influence for every one, so you get 16 influence. Mm -hmm. So up on your influence, your yellow influence, uh, up here, that's going to go up to 36. Yeah. And you um, resulted the crisis on your turn. Mm -hmm. Now, the middle production has yep. a green line in it. Yep. So that means you, and. That's why you were able to do your production mm -hmm. and the point scoring. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. Yes, it yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what that means. Okay. Yeah. So green line means you can do oh, and, okay. um, whereas red line is you have to choose between one or the other. Cool. That is you done. Um, oh, uh, you can, if you wanted to, Rowan, you can flip your trade token over and take that third action if you so chose. 
So that is pay you want to get rid of your corruption token. Pay two and you get rid of a corruption. But you remove your trade token. But does he does No it doesn't it flips it. It flips it, yeah. So yeah, you get you uh oh, that resets that I've I believe. Got plenty of food. Yeah, I've got plenty of food. I'll go down. Yeah, food. yeah I reckon you got a decent amount of food. Yeah. Store yeah. it. And then that so, corruption goes in the bin. Where's the corruption bin? I don't know what the I have here is corruption bin. Oh yeah, gotcha. You take it. I'll grab it. Thanks. Sweet. Um, and put that in the corruption bin. Woo! One less corruption in this world. Ooh. Nice. So, David, it's now your turn. Do well, we have another crisis? Oh yeah. Sorry. Uh, so you've resolved it. Uh, so now you get another crisis. I'm just quickly looking to make sure. So gain an agenda card while you have an agenda card in hand. I do, very hard. I do not. So then we have to go to the bottom section. Okay, so... Oh, cool. So just as you're... So, you're, so that you're aware, trade tokens, they can sit on your player board, but when we are in the cleanup stage at the end of the cycle, it has to go on a... Um, on a gen, an agenda or you risk losing it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm just trying to figure out what the. What does that mean? Yeah. So. So it says. I was reading that, I... Rowan. Uh, whomever. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's all good. So okay. that I'll actually card... use my offline, but the the viewed version I have. So the 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 card icon means crisis card. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now the hex. What does that one mean? Uh, sorry, which which card are you looking at? So I'm looking so at the, the crisis looking. card. I'm oh, you're looking at the crisis, crisis card. card. Yeah, yeah. So, so th this is this is what so this is what I have to deal with on my turn. Yeah. 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 So what it is? Yeah. Um, if you don't deal with it, you can either take the damage down the blower at the end of your turn, or you can let it go into the supply here, so and someone else. Someone else can actually take that if the, if you so chose. So, so it means that I can. You could so actually I, resolve one of the other ones if you right, wanted to. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I can resolve any of the. So yeah. what about the the one? At, okay. So yep. Yeah, okay. When building a shipyard in a pure. Okay. All right. All right. So, but what I'm just trying to work out if so I can't I can't I can't do the green action at the top because I don't have an agenda card. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I need to resolve the red section at the bottom to get rid of that card, right? So so what does that mean? I'm just trying to work. So so the, the hex icon means a skirmish. You're going to have a so, fight. So there's going to be a skirmish. Yep. So that means you could, you know, invade somewhere else and, and do a skirmish. <laughs> And watch that shit show go down. Not <laughs> Does that mean I can start a skirmish? Is that I mean, is that by I'm the end of your turn you've got a completed a skirmish? Yeah, have to where have you damage. have oh, I sorry. think taken over. Oh no, so you... is that on here? Yeah, so they skirmish yeah. you, so they come and attack one of your regions, your oh. sectors. Oh, I see. And it can't be your home base. Yep. Okay. It cannot be at the end of the fight. You have to be the victor, and so you can't be corrupted. Mm -hmm. And it will allow you to increase or your population increase your population. Is that what that means? Population, I think. Uh, so or population to guild some some sort of. Does that mean that I can? Does is that that little award? It looks like a little award icon. So it basically, I think if I win, do I get that? Do I get a guild or something? I'm not sure what that means. So I don't think I'm just trying to work out. I don't think I can actually. Well, they're going to attack you, so yeah. you can allow them to attack you if you want them to. So, yeah. Okay, at the end of my turn. So I'm probably based on that card. I guess what I really need to do is. Is sort of build up some defenses, right? Because it looks like they're going to come and attack me. Is that is that the sort of? If yeah, you can allow them to attack you if you want to, or we can just put yeah. it on the be a future our problem. Yeah. So so if, for example, if I played this reinforcement card, so where am I going? Where are we going to play our cards? Yeah, just there's fine. Cool. All right. 
So if so I were to play this reinforcement card, mm -hmm. I think this might let me therefore deal with that threat. So it, this is going to mean that I can put a a fleet power mm -hmm. uh, base in a in a. And does that mean that I can do it shipyard? In a, in a shipyard. Yeah, so you can place. I think it's place ships or place fleet power based mm -hmm. on the amount of carriers or um, shipyards. Now you have one shipyard, so you'll be able to place one force. Okay. 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 Or, or I can, I can put down some uh, defense. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the cost of that is, to be honest. Yep, so I can lose some energy and add some defense, I think. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that I can, I can I'm fight. I'm wondering if I'm looking at the same card as you guys. <laughs> Which card is it? What's it called, David? Reinforcement. Uh, reinforcement. Reinforcement. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll put it down. The uh, this one here, Dave. Uh, Rowan. Oh, so you go, I see. You go down yeah, yeah. two energy. I see where you're reading that. So like, so I can do two energy. That that those little yellow arrows mean regroup. So I'm guessing that means that I can pull. Does that mean I can pull fleets from other regions? Is is that what regroup means? I, I'm going to assume that it does. I'm just trying to see if I can if I can win a fight. This because this crisis card indicates to me. You're going to get attacked. And I'm going to and get attacked. Did, but where, where are you going to get attacked from? It's going to get hit. It's going to, I'm going to get attacked here. Because yeah, because it can't be your home base. Correct. It can't be my home base. So so I'm trying to work out if I can add a star base, a defense, sorry, a defense into here. I and think then, so. And then so, if, if this adjacent, so this this particular corrupted fleet comes into here i'm, I'm going to assume that that's what happens um mm -hmm. we can we can clarify that but i'm gonna if this comes into here then i'll be able to i'll be able to to defend against it uh, then do you agree i think i'm, I'm gonna yeah I yeah think, i'll yeah. just do it i reckon just do it yep I'm yeah, yeah do it right so i think i'm gonna cool. do it so we are going to take we're going to take the attack at the end of his turn yeah and that will clear off that crisis so you're going to do this, play it out then, deduct yep. your two energy, play yep. that in front of yourself so you know where it yep. is. is so, so I'll take, I'll, t I'll deduct two energy. Mm -hmm. So I'll go down two. Mm -hmm. Two. Now, does that mean I can, that, that means I can add a star base? Yeah. No, sorry, it means I can add a sector defense, sorry. Yep. A sector yep. defense. Mm -hmm. um, and you get influence. Two times the sector bases, which is so. What is yeah? So which is two plus one, so three. You get three influence from that. So one, two, three, yep. and then and I then can do can... a second action. Yes. So I can then add either a fleet power mm -hmm. times the number of shipyards or carriers or carriers. I don't have either in that sector, so that's not going to help me. Do you have to add it to the sector that that's in? Well, actually, no, I probably don't, do I? No, so um, I can actually add it to my home sector. Or you could pay one of your reinforcements, build another sector defense, and increase your um, your um one of your influence tracks. Yes. Now, just remember that um, that uh, sector defense does add to your upkeep as well. So okay. once, once okay. you've had your turn, don't do that yet, but once you've had your turn, just make sure you have a look. So that is and or. So I can actually do... Oh, either can't I? So yeah, yeah, so I can I can do it. So I think I'm better to do that second action. So go up one on my. Mm -hmm. So that's going to cost you one of these though. Yep, that's okay. I'll I'll go up one. Mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll return that to my supply. Yep. And then I'll go up one, and I think I'll go up one. Bigger that I lost one. I'll go up one and get that one back. Yep. Nice. And then you're going to have a sector defense as well, or sector uh, defenses go first. So if you get invaded, they attack before everything else. Yep. Well, I think I don't, well, I don't think I will based on the fact that I've already got one there mm -hmm. and I'm not under a huge amount of threat from that adjacent sector. So I think I'll leave that and just save the upkeep. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, 
I think I'm I'm done. I think I'm good. Cool. Which means now we'll have a sector uh, a skirmish. Is that correct, Danielson? Skirmish. Uh, yes, you'd have if you're going to take the punishment. Yep, I mm-hmm. am. You uh, yeah, you have that skirmish. So I, I have that skirmish. So I so I'm gonna sh- just if we can just check that the skirmish is um well it looks based on the icons it yep. looks like it's going to come from an an adjacent sector that is not adjacent to my home correct yep so it has to be and i guess i, I i'm do, do i just choose that one so for example i Let's choose that corrupted fleet just quickly but the corrupted look. fleet will come right back into that one will it yep. just like do they leave will they leave a sector or Skirmish. Uh, here you go. So some immediate ac- uh, penalties on crisis cards will announce a skirmish against you. During a skirmish, the Voidborn will attack one of your sectors. It will attack the Voidborn, Voidborn fleets. I have trouble saying Voidborn. Um, equal to the current strength value. So the current strength value is shown on the leftmost uncovered space on the lower threat track. Taken directly from the supply not from an, uh, any sector on the map. Oh, you're going to use, get by three. Uh, use oh. the following procedures to select which sector the Voidborn attacks. And yeah, so it never attacks a home sector. Um, if it can, it prefers to attack where it could win. Um, it can, if it cannot win in any sectors, it prefers to attack where it would least, uh, where it would lose, where you would lose the most amount of fleet power. Um, mm. And then from there, it has like highest population, the most guilds, or randomly. Right. So you take three from the supply. From the supply. Yep. It's going to lose one from the point point events straight away. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then so it's left with two. Yep. And this because is where it's... it comes to initiative, right? Is yep. Right? And because it's even. It results in no uh, and nothing, so everyone loses. So my recommendation: don't do the consequence of this one. Because otherwise, you're going to lose all your. And otherwise, you're going to lose, and that's actually a good trade for it because then this becomes a corrupted sector, and you lose it. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it does make sense. So yeah. my recommendation here is to let that jump into the. Okay. okay. Um, so you can top. you can choose. It can go into the blue or the uh, red. Well. Um, so the consequence of going into the blue means that, that, um, oh yeah. So yeah. So at the moment, yeah. So it means that Callum will have to a this consequence instead, but the okay. consequence of it going into the red, it means that the power is actually now going to be four instead of three. Four instead of three. But ideally, okay. yeah, you, you want to be trying to clear out some of the cards on your turn regardless. Yeah. 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 So, okay. So let's see if I can clear out. Actually, didn't um, Rowan do that one as well? Because he spent a trade token, so he did both. Uh-huh. Um, no, that's the consequence. Yeah, and spend... he, a, he spent a trade token. He did that. No, but it's it's not a result of this card. He he didn't spend it. He he utilized it for its power. Okay. Spend means putting it back into the. I was resolving the networked industrialization over cool. the start. Do yeah. you want to spend? Do you have two bank? Do you have two bank to spend and just increase your um, increase your no immediate before um, you're science. doing. So if you're doing that science, you spend Boy, the yeah. bank before you do that, and that will con- um. Do you have to yeah. take an action to increase okay. that? So, okay. It's it's so, not it's not saying that you spend two and you're going to get to do that. It's as if you are going to do this for some reason. You, if you spend two before it, then you will actually get to resolve this card. Does that make sense? Yes. Gang yeah. steel just feels stuck against us. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's meant to be hard. Yeah. Mm. So, so you would have had to do the prosperity one for that to work. Okay, that's okay. So I'm just wondering, though, Callum. Yeah. So I can do the bottom one. I can, I can get rid of a guild, for example, yeah. and clear off that one. Mm-hmm. And I, I would do that if it meant... You know, for example, if you couldn't do, like, what's your power like at the moment? I'm just having a look at you. I'm, I'm, I'm five strong to reinforce. It'll depend on what I have to face, but I'd probably quite likely be able to take a skirmish um, if needed. But 
I can't take it on my home base. That's a catch twenty two. So provided yeah. I can do the same thing where we do the um what was it called? The didn't do production. You did um what was the action you took? Reinforcement. Yeah, if I take the reinforcement action, which I can do, I can build myself a um star base there, which means I'll win the fight. Okay. Which means if you, you yeah, yeah, but if it, I won't win the fight if it's four, I will win the fight at three. It'll hurt, but it'll, I'll win. Yep. All right. So therefore, I'm better to put it on the blue track. Yes. All right. We'll do that. So we'll move that up. Mm -hmm. Dan, if you want to look after that. Yep. Yep. Sure. Here's a new one, mate. Hit us up. Bar keep. Cool. When building, pay an extra two energy. Awesome. That's painous, but sure. We'll... Can I do multiples or just one? Just one. So it's either, yeah, you either do your current or you do one of the uh, banked. Mm -hmm. I could do both of those. Um, no, I'll do it for the power. Because um, I'm actually building. This is infuriating. Um, reinforcement is the one we wanted to do. Or what was the leadership one? Leadership millets. Other people do stuff as well. Or... It means that if I do the leadership, hold up, I get it. It cost me a trade token. I don't have a trade token. Today. Um, okay, can't do leadership, so I'm gonna have to do stupid reinforcements. I'm gonna have to do that as well. Where's my reinforcements card? I don't even know. I don't even think I've got my reinforcement card in my hand. Oh, there it is. Fair enough. Now I've got it, Ben. Fair enough. All right. So reinforcements, and the first thing I am going to do. Is I am going to pay my two um, materials, shock horror, two materials, and I'm going to build myself. Um, oh, actually, sorry, no, I don't want to do that. Take back it half then. Slow down, Callum. Boom. No, that's not what I wanted to do either. So I want to spend two energy to produce a sector defense. Yep, I'm going to create that sector defense over here. Cool. So it's important to note that if you clear up, for instance, if you were to clear up this one, it would actually move everything down. Mm -hmm. Just for, for reference. But then a new one's going to come straight in. Correct, so yeah. It seems... Anyway, uh, cool. And then I'm going to pay a singular um, cube. For another sector defense. Oh, so I, so I get three influence for that. One, two, three. I'm going to pay a um, reinforcement cube to build another sector defense here. And I'm going to increase my um, going to increase my society to give myself a trade token. I grab from over here. Uh, yep. Can you, can you choose, or do you have to? Can you choose the one you want, or yeah, you have to take the leftmost one, or yeah, yeah. Do I? Do, can I choose? I think so. I think you can. I don't. So which one's this? So I'm grabbing a trade token because that's what I've increased my society track to allow me to do. Uh, then yeah, you take the leftmost. Yep, sorry, you take the leftmost, and cool. in doing and so, you get the. Re... Yep, correct. Cool, love my work. That's great for me. Let's grab myself a bounty. Grab this one. Put it over here. Three, two, one. Let's flip it up. And I gained two materials. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep. One, two, sweet. So, so this turn I have, for everybody playing at home, I have decreased my um, force and built a two a sector. I have paid two energy, built a sector. I should have done that in the other order, but oh, I'll be here now. And I've done it. And I am going to take on the um, confrontation of being attacked, which will mean I get three people will rock up. And I have two sector defense, which kills two of them. One of the fleet will come in. I have two strengths, so I go first and I kick him out of there and I win. And you win. Well done. So that's and one crisis gone. Yeah. That crisis is gone. But yep. what this means, however, is this one has to go down because... Oh, because I... Wait, because I completed a crisis, 
does that come over into a later crisis? Uh, at the end of your turn, it still comes down into the crisis cards. Fuck. Yeah. Now you get an you get you get a reward, do you? For oh for... yeah, what do I get for that? Nothing. Yeah. What do Nothing. you mean? You just don't get the punishment. You avoid the punishment. You avoid. But you I avoid. The, the punishment is they attacked me and I yeah. won the fight. I'm not corrupted, oh. and my population. What what is like? What, what does all that stuff mean? Ah, uh, so yeah, what's the? Oh well, yeah, so the population. Let's have a look. Yeah, actually, that's the symbol. Uh, I don't yes. know. Please don't shoot on me here. Like this game is so, not nice. It's not. Ah, uh, so it's uh, so it. What arrow does it have? Does it have an arrow above the population? Doesn't it? it doesn't have an arrow at all. It no. just has a, the population. People to guilds. What? Like... Oh no! Sorry, that's a one player. That's a one player. That's a one player thing. Oh, ah, right. Yeah. Okay. So if you're playing by yourself, that's a solo solo player mode. Ah, but yeah, right. so the there's no benefit to the event cards. You just don't get the punishment. That's so right. Dumb. Oh, it's and so we have brutal. to get 300 influence points to win this game. One of us has to get 300. Uh, no, no. So collectively, so you have two oh, options. No, collectively, 230. That's 230 plus 50. So. Um, plus 50, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10 okay. for each of those. So at the moment, it's 100, zero, um, every upgrade you've got. So that's yep. 30. Um, and for every card you've got, that's another 30. So that's like an extra, what, 60. So you have to get that's, at the moment, that's 390. The void one is getting, isn't it? That's what the void yeah. one's getting. So collectively, okay. all so three of you that. have to beat that. But yep. on your turn, if you start your turn and by yourself, you have yes. more than 300 influence and there are no rifts, then you just win. The game's over. You you all win because you're, one of you is powerful enough to... Yeah. yeah okay. So, so now it is Rowan's turn. Your event is... So we've, we've all played one card each and we've got four cards to play. Yep. Okay. When improving a squiggly six symbol... Uh, yeah, so when improving a, a science... Um, three sectors adjacent to the... Oh, no. In that shit. Yeah. So maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe either bin it or so. So this is the important note. So at the moment you've got three down. Now there is a way to get rid of two of them. Um, is so resolve one that's on here, and then at the end of your turn take the punishment. If that makes sense. Oh, so wait. That's what I did, didn't I? Did you I didn't resolve, resolve one? I just you took didn't. The yeah. You just took the punishment. But if you had resolved one on uh, one of these ones, then you would have taken the punishment and resolved one. So it would have brought those down. Sorry, I thought I thought I thought I thought I no, mentioned that, that was so. not clear, but that's okay. Sweet. Yep. So if you manage to, if you build, because I would have done, I would have resolved this one and then taken the punishment. Yeah. Because I would have paid the extra two energy to build an extra. Defense. Oh, did you did you build a defense? Yeah. I built, yeah. Do it I retroactively. I'm ha happy Sweet. for you to yeah. do it retroactively. Cool. Get that out of here. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Wanted to do that. <laughs> I'm poor as heck, though. I have actually no energy now. Yeah. So <laughs> income problem. But yeah. hey, happy to happy to do that retroactively because that yeah that is a that's a lot to take in. So so you can destroy. So if yeah, you can complete one of these. So if you increase so for the action, I believe it's the action. If you take the action prosperity and increase your science, it can cost you an additional two banking. Um, and you'll have completed that one, and then you could potentially take a corruption back because um, you've already gotten rid of one. Remember? I want to. <laughs> you don't have to. It's <laughs> totally fine. I, I'm not sure. Stagnating mark. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to put the the link to the Twitch in the in the messenger chat? Okay. All right. So Rowan. To 
unmute myself. Oh, Ron, what are you feeling, man? What are you, what's your vibe here? Do you reckon you can take the, do you reckon you can take that corruption token and just like cop it on the chin? Do you think <laughs> do you reckon you can it. yeah, just take it when building a shipyard in pure sector? So you can potentially, I don't know how you build a shipyard, but I actually don't have a clue how to do that. Um, what action produces a shipyard? Uh, was that I couldn't hear that someone? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Rowan. Yep. What action allows you to build a shipyard? Um, shipyard. Yeah, that's a good question. Let's. I'm gonna we'll grab all. Oh no, the, the reinforcements does. Oh, it's reinforcements. Ah, right, cool. No, no, it does. No, no, it doesn't. Okay, which allows you to get a shipyard, shipyard in a pure sector? What's that? A pure sector. That's just one that doesn't have corruption. Yeah, a pure sector is, yeah, just one that doesn't have corruption. Don't forget, you've got the joint prosperities as well. So if you play that uh, executive card, uh, executive or leadership, leadership. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, where you're still resulting all of the events, it's going to be that, that fun balance of res uh, mm. resolving the f events, but also doing something. <laughs> yes. Um. Sorry, I didn't also mention this before. So with the... um. Uh, with the rifts, you just have to enter that space. There's nothing special about it. Once you enter that space, it becomes a normal space. You close the rift. Cool. So once you once you control that, sorry, if you if you lose, if you go in there and you lose, then obviously you don't close the rift. But <laughs> question with my standard sector here. Yes. If I leave that now that it's got defenses yeah. and a guild, it stays unattacked, doesn't it? The defenses disappear. So anything in the um. Uh, in the installations disappear, but the guilds stay. So the like, guilds stay. Like, so, what do you mean? So, so void born. If you took so everything instead... out, it would become corrupted. It would get a uh, a fleet, That's... and really? it would lose everything. Yeah, and That's when you fuck. if you conquer a region that has a sector defense in it, when you conquer that region, that sector defense gets destroyed. So oh, you always gosh. you don't you don't want to leave a sector by itself. Oh, anyway, yep, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's you brutal. Can split, you can split your fleet. You can split yeah. your fleet. Doesn't yeah. cost you anything to split your fleet. Yeah. So it, it, it you know when you if you were to attack out, but you're just going to have to build up a fleet before you kind of you know yeah. in order to it's come in fleet. here, you're going to need yep. to have at least you want at least three in that sector before you attack. Uh, you want to have a corvettes of three. Um before you attack now now there is actually it's important to note so um you could actually what you could do callum um there mm -hmm. is there's just two cards that allow you to move there's one card that allows just like inish you can move um move from yep. one sector to sector to adjacent sectors or you can pick a sector and everything surrounding it attacks that so you could actually grab two from here and one from here so if you for instance made this yeah, a th was, yeah, three, yeah. if you made that a three one and uh, 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 you can actually leave one in here, leave one in here, and attack three in there. So, hopefully, that's that's making sense. Well, but it's yeah, so it's I, brutal. Do I have a trade token? Yes, you do. That's one of okay. these. You don't I'll... anymore. Yeah, he does. That's still a trade token. He's used it. it. You've used it, but so he's used it, but that's not spent. So you can't spend it. You can spend it. He can spend oh. it. He but when you spend it, you lose it entirely. So he's okay, used it, which means he's used it to play a play an extra action on the card. But mm -hmm. when you spend it, you actually you quite literally spend okay. it. You take it away. I'm gonna. Well, that's a simple one. I think I'll just resolve the stagnating market, where I'll spend two, or whatever that resource is, to increase that trade, and then I have to spend the I spend the trade token. I lose. Oh no no. So so the yeah. that's the result if you don't. Um, so you, to, resolve it. To, to, to do that market, you actually have to take the action of um, prosperity. Yep. So by taking the prosperity action, and I'll put that card in front of you now, is you'll have to spend one food. Is it one food or or one food and? Oh, I think it's no, one food. Yes, yeah, so it's one. Yeah, it's one of each. So both of those go down by so one. Yeah, you'll spend one food and one energy, and you'll pay two bankers 
to increase it. Yep. And then that will resolve that card, though. But that will resolve that, that card. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if you did that, if you played that card. Okay. Yep. There. Cool. Prosperity. Um, so, yeah, so you pay down that. one food, one energy. And then as an additional, you're going to pay two. One food, one energy. And of these guys. Yep, two money. And cool. And I go up this track. Yep, and that gets discarded. I think now that means that arrow means you actually go up to the next. Correct, yeah, you on this one. You completely skip that first one. You jump, yes. Jump to there. Jump to there. Oh, is that what the arrow means? That's right. That's what the arrow means. Ah, oh, okay, cool. And you get yourself a trade token, mate. You get a trade token. Yep. And I don't, that's, I don't face any consequences. Correct. So you get a trade token from here. So then everything, all of your resources go up by... Uh, oh, no, sorry. You get one of them goes up by two. Yeah, it's got the little red arrow, red icons mm -hmm. between them. They're hidden. What am I, where am I looking now? The production or the um, amounts? Amounts. Yeah. So your stockpile. So go over, yeah, there you are, Ron. Yep. So there's this one up here. You're going to take this one. You're going to take that trade token and you're going to get the benefit below it, which is two of any of those top three. In my stockpile. Yep, in your stockpile. Mm -hmm. So that that token can go on your player deck here. Oh, I'm just gonna zoom. Oh, it's gone. That's all right. It came back. Bit of space. So that's it's there. So that will stay there. You have to, yeah. if you want. You you'll need to play it on one of these before you um before the end of the cycle, because otherwise you lose it, or you could spend it. So um, and then. One of these go up by two. So you can choose green, yellow, or pink. Pink. I pink. think food is more important at the moment, don't you? Or what are you thinking, guys? Uh, food is more important for upkeep, for sure, yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll need food for upkeep. Oh, okay, let's cool. do that. And then you still have another action to choose from this card as well. So you can either choose this middle one or the bottom one. Middle one is so the middle one is you spend two food and um and a void born is is that a void born's placed? What's yep, that? Void born is placed, yep, we talked about that. Yep. And you will get um influence three times the amount of star bases, banks, and scientists. But because you don't yeah. you've only got a bank. Yeah, that's probably not a great move. That's yeah. Um, or you decrease a your power and you can get a new agenda. And I don't know what that triangle is. I think right. it's a triangle of your choice. So you get a start. That's how you build a shipyard. That's ah! how you build a shipyard. All right, cool. Sweet. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I definitely recommend that. Yeah, build an installation. So you get to build any installation. Um, because you also because right. you get to do both because it's got that green line. So you could actually up here in the. Um, agendas. You get to pick one of these open agendas. Uh, sorry, where are we? Uh, just above your board. Yep, oh, yeah, above yeah, your board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd get to pick one of these three cards, put it into your hand. Um, okay. And if if you play a card that matches these tiny little symbols here, yeah. um, which you'll see in, when you look in your hand, you'll see those symbols, you can actually play this card and put it as an agenda. That makes sense. It's like an extra action on your turn. I'm looking for maybe I'm not sure why I'm leaning towards the energy this energy one at the end. Oh. Remove one again. Yeah, the ability to potentially remove so you take one off your home base, I'm pretty sure. Is that take one off or is that place one? Yeah, deploy a fleet power. <laughs> yeah, is so it's it's get expansion? a fleet power and then you get to deploy a fleet power to your home. And you remove one adjacent Voidborn fleet. That's pretty OP. And then you score, yeah, uh, at the end in the end round. So that goes into your hand. Um, in order to play it, you have to play the card with the matching. Yeah, which is uh, which is your development card. 
No, not development card. No. Yeah, reinforcement card. Cool. So, and then you actually also, Rowan, get to place a installation in one of your sectors. So, um, here or here. Now. Okay. What? Uh, uh, sorry, it's the installation. So it's yep. a. It could be a shipyard. It could be a sector defense, or it could be a sector. Is it a sector? A sector defense or a star base? Defense or a star base. Yeah. I get sector defense. What's the star base give me? So Starbase, I actually do not know. Um, okay. I'm going to go a sector defense in case yep. I get it. That's a good move. It. I'll research Starbase quickly. Oh, so that is your turn. You to play your agenda? Uh, when you play, so for instance, the uh, for instance, if you look at this card here, the yeah, little... no, how do you how do you put it into effect? how do you tuck it? Okay, so how do you tuck it? So, for instance, when you play, um, what card is it? That one. It actually allows you to tuck it. Um, the so it's when you play the card. So, for instance, if you played that card and you oh, had yeah, this in yeah, your yeah, hand, yeah, 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 you yeah, play yeah. that, you pay the cost, you get the benefit, yeah. and then you tuck it right away. Cool. Yeah, that yeah. that's how it works. That but you have to play. Yeah, you have to play the associated card yeah. in order for it to actually play. Cool. So is that a new? Is that exactly the same one as he's got in his hand? Yes, yep, yep. But it's important to note that that's kind of useless to you this cycle because you've already played the reinforcement card. Correct. Uh, uh, David, your turn. All right. Uh, so we need to do the crisis card. Uh, yes, yes, so do, yeah. Rowan, are you going to take the punishment or are you going to put that into the rows? Of which card? Uh, this this is the current action, the current task right. card. So the punishment here is, um, what? Well, I don't understand. Oh, but he, he's going to cop a um, corruption on his um, board. Oh yeah, so it's it's yeah, so it's copper corruption on your board, mm -hmm. or uh, on one of your agendas. Yep. So you you know how you got rid of one before? You can put it back. Yeah, you can yeah, put okay. yeah. So and that would avoid it entirely. Yep. So you're going to do that? Cool. That's not going to go that? into the run. All right, so next Dan, card. Draw me a new one. Yep, here we go. So if you are able to place a Corruption. void born on a an occupied Corruption. on a un, on an occupied agenda. Oh so god, that's a remove your only agenda. One. Yeah, that's... no, don't do that. Yeah, yeah because you no. if you place it on an occupied agenda, then you uh, uh then you lose that agenda. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yep. yeah, let, it's so, probably either good to take the punishment or let that run into the. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you don't need to do so, that to the end of your turn. So you can kind of yeah, if you can so try then, and resolve. So therefore, I can. Building a shipyard right. in a pure sector decrease its population. So you right. could actually you could potentially do that, or you've kind of almost got a free turn as well. So. Well. Hmm. I can get rid of it. I'll get. I can take the punishment for that one without an issue. I've built so myself to take the punishment for that card that you've just flipped. So the big thing at home. You yeah, can but do that. you can't take the punishment for it. Not yet. But and my next turn, I can take. I can choose to take the punishment for it, can't I? Yeah. So if I put that on this track. Um. No, I think the punishment's only if it's. You can't. Well, that's what I did last time. Oh, is it? I thought you resolved one of yours ones. No, so I resolved mine, and I took the punishment for that one. No, I actually don't think you take the punishment then, because if you resolve it, so if you if you satisfy, so is that yeah. right? If, if you, you satisfy, satisfy that the green section, it yeah. gets yeah. discarded. If Otherwise, you can't satisfy it on your turn, you either take the punishment, yes. or that card goes into the into the right. ongoing. Yeah. If so, it's in the yeah. ongoing, oh yeah. So in this instance, it would go into there. Mm -hmm. So because because Callum actually undertook that before, so did Callum not need to do? You know how we got rid of one before. Yeah, mm -hmm. he took so the punishment Callum, for his card, but he solved another no, card. He, he solved another one, but he also he. So I solved this one. Yep. And I took the punishment. Where's the one that I took the punishment? I yeah, literally. No. Where did that card go? There oh, there. I took the punishment for that. Oh, and that was in the this one. Okay, yeah. and that was in the in the track. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so what you were meant to do is you actually once it's in the track, the only way to get rid of it is to buy the green. Right. I'll double check. So, David, take yeah. your turn because you can't yeah. resolve those yeah. anyway. I'll double, triple check that. But yeah, I think the only one once yeah. it's in here, the only way to resolve it is by completing the check mark. Yes. The yes. the yes. red only is if it's in here, okay. and it's a choice so, between here or going into the ongoing. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see if I can build myself up. I mean, my if anyone's in chat and actually knows the answer to that, feel free to put it in whilst I'm looking as well. Uh, sorry, that, and continue, that's, Dave. That's that that's not an uh, that's not a good one to leave for anybody else, right? Like placing corruption on an agenda slot for us at the occupied moment. Occupied agenda slots. So yeah, yeah, occupied. We, yeah, we, we've only got one occupied agenda slot, so that's no good. So I need to build myself up to take that consequence mm. and win yes. the fight. I think that's a good move, yeah. Yeah. So let's do that. So that what that's going to mean is that Voidborn are going to enter my neighbouring sector. Question. If we're on a team, can he decide that it attacks my sector? I Good question. Ooh, that I, is... I would thought think no, but we're I would, on a team. I, I would say no. I would say oh. because it's my turn. Go on. Let's go because there is actually, I do, did read that in there. So in skirmish, some independent penalties, it will attack a void with voidborn fleets equal to the current strength value taken yeah, directly from strength. the supply, not oh, from any sector. Okay. Yep. So it's going to do three. Um, use the following procedure to select which sector the voidborn attacks and then resolve the combat. So it, no, it, so it can be any sector. It doesn't have to be David. Hmm. No, because then it wouldn't have attacked me before. So it would have to be David's sector. Yeah, if it would we're have, playing yeah. it by that rules. Yeah, yeah, it would have to be. Yep. Oh, so it's going to be this sector. And yep. and it's going to send in, what, these two? It's going to so send in three. The, no, it's going to send in three. Because I have three, is that no, right? No, because, because on, the on, this, on the board down the bottom, on the red board, yeah. it has three in there. Oh, so okay, if you okay. were, for instance, able to build a shipyard, yes. it would actually make it only attack with two. Because that card would get discarded. Does that make sense? Do you mean a, sh do you mean a shipyard or a defense? Uh, shipyard. shipyard. So this, this, the to complete this one, when building a shipyard in a ah. pure sector, decrease its population. Because when you get rid of it, there's only yes two left. Yes. Okay. So what? So what you're saying is, build a shipyard in this sector. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that means it's only going to come in with two. It is going to decrease that population by one. Okay. Just so you're aware. But yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Okay. But you do have yes. cards that will increase the population, so you can always. I do. Yeah. I do. I'm just trying to work out if I do have a card that's going to actually increase my power by one. Is that going to help me though? If I increase my power by one, it, uh, you'll still, you'll lose more. Oh no 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 no! Oh. If he increases his power by one, then it's going to attack with three. It's going to lose one straight away from the point yeah. defense. Then he's going to have three, they're going to have two. So he gets to attack first, so they lose one. Then he's yeah. going to lose one, they're going to lose one, and he'll be yeah. at two again. So, yeah, if you increase your power, it gets you to two. But if you manage to build a no, space on... station, yeah, yeah, if yeah. You, you'll add two. If you build a space station and pay that cost, then you won't lose anyone. Yep. Correct. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. So I need to choose a card that's going to let me build a space station. So there is, uh, and we'll, we'll... Development allows you to build um, for one energy and one materials. Oh, yeah. 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 What about um, prosperity? Prosperity does not allow you to build one. Okay. So development it is then, I think. Is that right? I think development. Believe... So on the, on the other thing, um, when you play, when playing cooperatively, during your actions, you and only you as the active player may solve one crisis. Solving a crisis does not require an action by itself, merely that you meet the conditions listed on the crisis and suffer any additional requirements. You may solve an ongoing crisis from either of the economic tracks or the military threat track or current crisis revealed at the beginning of your turn. When, a, when you solve a crisis, place it place up in the crisis discard. You discard it uh, as an ongoing. So no, you can't take the punishment from an ongoing we're going to let that go because it already happened. But yeah. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, cool. Yep. All right. So I'm going to play the development card. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go. Oh down. no! If you do the development card, you won't be able to solve this problem because if you solve this problem and that one, you won't take the consequences, will you? Sorry. Will you be able to do both? If he solves this problem with his crisis, yep. And then at the end of his turn, he takes the punishment. Can he do that? Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, yeah. So that's and that's the example we were using before. What you can't yeah. do is take the punishment from this one and solve, and solve this one. Up. Yeah. yeah. So, so cool. this way, um, this way, perfectly fine. This way, not mm -hmm. because of the you can't do the punishment from another uh, from an ongoing. Yeah. Yes. So, so, so you're doing development. So I'm doing development. I'm going to build a shipyard, which is going to resolve that pacifist movement card. If you decrease your population here down to one, yes. Yes, and I, Sweet. I that's happened. Yep. Yep. And so I'll build. So I need to then build. So I go down one in energy and one in materials. Uh, why yeah. do you go down in one in materials? Because I'm playing the development card. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're going. Yep. You yeah, go yeah, down. Yeah. I'm, I'll put it down up on my board. Yeah, yeah, cool. So you're not going down one in 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 this one. You're going down one on that side, which because you didn't you didn't add to it, so it's fine. So mm -hmm. I'm, your sign. He's I'm, got the scientist guild, which mm -hmm. was it, so he didn't actually add his production. So his production now should be at one instead of two. Mm -hmm. So did you did you remove from this side, David? I haven't touched that side. No. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. So your production. Should have been at the start of your turn. It should have been two, uh -huh. but now it's now it's one because the population's decreased. Okay, so, so yeah. does that mean now? Okay, so because these were set, so I haven't added to my supply. No, I haven't added to my store. So, so this this I just stockpile activity to do that. Yeah, so this is the stockpile. That's your. Yep. This is what I have in the bank. Whereas yep. this is your production. This is what your sectors yep. are producing when you take that produce action or something like that. Got it. Okay. So, all right. So, um, if I do the development card, and I I go down one on energy and go down one on materials, I'm going to allow that's going to allow me to build a star base. Yep. Yep. On. You want to build a star base, or do you want to build a? He wants to build. That was you. Yeah, star base. Your shipyard. Do you want to build a shipyard? Oh no, it's a shipyard. Sorry, yeah, shipyard. 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 Sorry. shipyard. Sorry. Yeah, yep. That's not. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you want a shipyard, not a star base. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and that's what I was looking at as well. What is a star base? Uh, so that's that. Mm -hmm. Then I want to do the second action. Mm -hmm. So the second action. Oh, okay. Oh, I haven't got a lot of food, but I do have got quite a bit of money. So you can increase your population. Yes. Yes. So that okay. one there will increase population back up one, but uh -huh. it also means it costs you an energy and they'll be in an adjacent, you get to choose in an adjacent um, area, you'll you'll spawn a void pawn. Uh-huh. All right, cool. So uh, Starbase, you have to have a technology to build, but once you have mm -hmm. that technology and are able to build Starbases, it acts as both a shipyard and a sector defense. Uh -huh. So very useful <laughs> is what oh, it says. Well, maybe I should have switched to my to the make and my defense before I should have put a star base. Oh, we don't have the tech. We don't have the tech it. though, and we don't. Yeah, we can't research the tech. So star bases aren't going to come out in this game. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, so I have to decide. Do oh, I take oh actually, a... sorry, they can potentially because they're over. They could come out of this de deck here. So these are the improved um, sciences. All right, so I have to decide to add a void born to a sector, okay? Or I can build. Okay, so I add a void born to a sector mm -hmm. and Which go will... down one materials, but then I can build a deck. I can develop a guild. I can put a guild down somewhere, and yep. then and, and then go up on population. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think I'll do that. Seems like population's hard to get. Yeah. I feel like population's hard to get. So I'm going to do that action. I've spawned your void born where the harbinger is. Just so you know. Okay. Yep. Cool. And then population I can. Population is the cool. dice, right? 
Yep. Yes. So I go up a population in that section. That Which sector. increases your production in that of your science, I guess, as well. Yep. So I'll press plus on that for you. Done. And then and then I can add a uh, guild. guild. I mm -hmm. can't add a banking guild, but I can add a, another guild. Let's add, what am I really love? Let's add a, let's add an energy guild. Oh, hang on. Yeah, let's add one of those. An the engineer's back. guild. Oh. Okay. All right. So your population now is two. Was it one before? It, I, mm -hmm. it was two. I had to take it down by one, and I've put it back to two. Yep. So the, that that was the consequence, which is, oh, have you finished? I've finished. Yep. Cool. You take the consequence, which means the corrupted come in. First one dies to the uh, defense. And then it's okay. one B two. You kill the other one before he kills you. We take out both those cards. Yep. Nicely okay. done. Um before, oh, because you're in high initiative. Yep. It goes up there. It's phase no, one, it, bro. It's it go it's it's in the middle. <laughs> phase one. You know I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it's important to note, yeah, so now when they, when they attack, they're going to be attacking with two, um, and at the start of your turn, even because it's cycle one, nothing happens, but it's important to note that, uh, so now it is Callum's turn. We would flip this card and then you would mm -hmm. also take that pending, but we're, we're not in any danger of that. So Callum. This crisis cannot be resolved. Painous, but don't worry. I will be able to take the, um. The damage, I guess. Cool. Attacked. What is that? So that oh, is, oh. it automatically just goes over to here. A, a Even catastrophe. If I do. No, no. If or, I do, or if I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cool. If you so didn't, if you didn't want it to go into the ongoing, you could just automatically yeah. put it into the catastrophe. Catastrophe. I don't know why you, you'd you'd want that, but I'm sure there might be a, a reason or circumstance that. Okay, yeah, cool. it might be better to take a catastrophe straight away rather than putting it into into your thing so your fire card has a lot of asteroid guys flying around and the golf course there's a there's a hole there a flag on the golf course <laughs> and are we on our what card are we on i mean is this just my second card this is uh yeah this is your second card um okay <laughs> and we're playing four so yeah four. make sure so whilst whilst I think this is the yeah. point in time where you know we've all played two cards, so make sure you've got your next card ready so that we can hopefully speed it up quite a bit. Well, isn't that going to depend on what crisis we're facing, though? It can, it can, but Callum is pre presumably going to be resolving a lot of the crisis cards, so now having cards yeah. go into the crisis deck isn't as bad. We've, we've kind of figured out how to weather the events a bit more than what we used to. So I've, I'm losing that, and I'm getting myself a uh, prosperity card. Oh, sorry, not a prosperity. I'm getting myself a um, agenda card, and the agenda card that I would like to take. Bear with me, just double checking. So I'm going to take the. Not that one. Uh, fun. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> yeah, I do want that production card, if I'm honest. But I put it in my hand, correct? And I've paid my yep. energy, and yep. I'm going to build myself a shipyard as well. So it is also important to note that yet you've so you've just played prosperity. If you actually have just gained that upgrade, you can play that now if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Um, I did not know what did I, but no, no, I did no. no. no that's okay. Um, it's good to know. And then I'm going to spend one food and one energy. Actually, I don't have any energy, so I can't do that. Um, um, I do have two food, so I'll do that. Got my two food, and I will then take the production, the prosperity. Pro oh, no, that just gives me points. No, I don't bring more points. Points are lame. Okay, so if you don't like any of the three agendas, you can draw two yep. cards from the top of one agenda deck and choose to take one. Return the other to the bottom of that same deck. So, so it's, oh, it's if you don't like the yeah. three that are available, you could take yep. the two and choose one from any one deck. Yeah, sweet. Um, no. Nah. Yeah, no, it's yeah. cool. Um, I'm happy. I've taken my action where I got myself a new shipyard and I got myself an agenda, and that's all I'm going to do. Good job. Cool. cool. That's me. Callum. Oh, so, so Callum, are you going to take the punishment? Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. They've got to attack here. They attack with two. They die. I don't die. Happy day. See you later. Awesome.
Uh, Rowan, your card is scouting the staging area. Scouting the staging When resolving politics, have four things adjacent to one. What's it? I don't have that. That's going to be a very difficult one to do, yeah. Uh, but I definitely would like to try and play my, what's it, reinforcement card. Yep. So that's going to actually contribute to that, I think. Yep. So, towards that. yep, so you can play the upgrade before you take one of the actions if you'd like. Uh, it's not the, the agenda. It's the agenda, that's, that's what yep. I was... Wanting. You can do that first, yep. So you pay two, so one of energy and one materials from your stockpile uh, over here. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Um, and you one energy and yep. one stockpile. Yep. And then you get one fleet power from your supply up the top here. Yep. Where am I? Oh, up there. And that goes onto your yep. And you get to put one of these onto your so you can put it onto any one of your corvettes. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I dropped it. And there's actually a second part to do this. So you, yeah, yep. So you can. I think, I'll, well, I think I'll boost up this fleet. I think that's good. I think that's a good idea. Yep. So there's actually also an extra action on here that you can choose: remove one adjacent voidborn fleet. So you can actually remove one from there, there. It's, oh, of course, of course, it's coming from that. Yep. Agenda card. Remove one adjacent. Well, let's get rid of. Let's if, get rid of that one. If you got rid of it, it would just come straight back because an empty oh, region, okay. yeah. What it would do, though, is you would got rid of it, it would destroy the sector defense, but then it would come straight back. Let's do that. You want to do that? I feel like I want to head that way. Okay. Because uh, the other option is you can you can remove one from there. Okay. Um, so you want to do that, that, that first one? I'll, yeah, I'm gonna ex I want to expand into there eventually. That's cool. sort of a, a plan. Beautiful. So then now you've resolved your agenda. So that goes underneath. And now you have this open agenda. You can actually, you've got that spare trade token. So if you wanted to, you can actually put that straight away onto that card there. Um, Sounds good. And that covers up that upkeep, so you're not going to be paying upkeep on that. Cool. Now I get to choose two actions here, right? Correct, yeah. Um, so, go down two resources to get a cube for every cube for every, a cube for every uh, repair center thing or something. Um... So the first one is you get reinforcements for every shipyard, shipyard yeah. and or destroyer, but, have... but you don't have any destroyers. So you've got one shipyard, so you can get... One shipyard. Yep, you can so place... Me to boost a, a, the strength of one of my fleets. Yep. Yep, and then the middle one. The middle one Two is... energy. Yeah, so what are the three arrows... Uh, so regroup. Yep. Um, what is regroup? Dave had that one before, didn't he? Who had that one before? Dave. Regroup um, is if you want to move some people around, you can move them to the right. You like... can. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yep, yep. You oh, so draw, if you want to draw your fleets into one region or one sector. Yep, yep. Well, so I can send them into the one into the one I just uh, got rid of the void void board from. I think no, it... that's movement. That's a different one. That I think yeah. is, I think that is the action temptation, maybe. Or no, uh, conquest, fleet move, re, uh, re invade, invade. Yeah, um, regroup and invade. There are two kinds of movement available in the re uh, game regroup and invade. During regroup, you may select any three of your fleets, um, and move them to an adjacent sector. That sector has to be under your control or uncontrolled. All right, so that's the regroup. Come yeah. Back to me. So you need the invade, which is during invasion, select one sector, then select any number of your fleets in any number of adjacent sectors and move them right. into the target sector. Cool. So I don't think I like the middle action, but I do like the bottom action. Looks like I lose a cube to increase one of my tracks. Correct. And put a shield down. Correct. Okay, so let's do that. 
Yep. So I will lose a cube. Uh, uh, yep, one of those. They just go up into you. Yep, perfect. Back there to increase something and yep. put, a, put a shield down. So we'll, let's have a look at what I might want to increase. Yep. Okay. And where do you want your shield? I'll put that down for you. Yeah, just we'll throw it over there somewhere, and I'll, I'll just oh, well probably in the the, yep. not the home system. Oh, your home system? No, no, not the home. System. Not system. Yep, cool. I'll put it there. Cool. Yeah, the, other, the neighboring system. Um, guys, what are you thinking? I should be increasing um on my on my civilization track. Uh, oh, do you um, want to get yourself another placeable um bank by the looks of it? You can place another bank, or you can get yourself an upgrade. And those upgrades look dope. Yeah. So that is over on the... Just straight up. Straight up above you. Do that. Yep. Or is that these ones? No, yep. sorry, actually, no, no. these ones are over here. No, so it's a basic upgrade. So you, so you look at the... So whereas those are advanced upgrades, so they're your... Um, your improve you're improving one you've already but he also has these in his escape pods like I don't know, these ones he could... yeah Automatic. so that's that's uh so he could uh, yeah so he, he could do an advanced one of that but that's an existing that's your existing so he already has that yeah he already has this oh, one so do i already have all mine yeah you have oh you just have the the base one yeah which is okay yeah so that that's improved cool. and this other one that's um that's the same one but you can see that so that's the secondary card. So basically what it is, if someone else wanted to improve, uh, so we should actually put these down here. If someone else wanted to um, get energy cells, they can. How do I use that actually? During the evaluation phase, you may ignore the um, cost yeah, of, yeah. Of my, yeah, sick. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. Of all of my Being sector defenses. To, Fuck yeah. Seeing as I want to attack, I like the sound of the autonomous drones. Or resolving combat as the attacker, you may spend a trade token. To, yeah, I think that's good. You've got, what, two trade tokens, have you? Yeah, he's got two. Yeah. 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 To get rid of it. Mm. So that goes in. Does it come into play flipped up like that? Like yes, it does. So he's going to get, he gets an extra trade token because that's what he gets from the, the benefit of researching it first. Anyone else can research that, but you have to now pay that yellow, the white token at the uh, bottom of it. Okay, so because he was the first, he got it. Because he was the first, and because he was the first, he also gets three bonus um, uh, influence. influence. Oh, Rowan, you didn't increase your influence that first time. So 39, and then you get an extra three influence, so you're on 42 now. Okay, and then I take a... I take a... Yep. Trade token. So you take a trade token and you're going to get that benefit from it. That goes down here. Yep. Where did that? Oh, sorry. It comes from that. So you're going to get, so it's the leftmost, you get two of either food, energy, or materials. Green, yellow, or pink. Uh, oh, I better go yellow. Yeah. Oops. Yep. Cool. So that's your first action on the card. Uh, and hang on, sorry, I haven't. Oh, you've already put the shield down. The, yeah, yeah, I already put the shield down. Yeah. And then the top one is spend a cube. Put a spend a cube. Oh no, spend some of that resource. So oh, the spend, yep yeah, material. Resource. Yep. Oh, so I get a cube back actually. Um. Uh. So no, what you do it is you get to place. That's the is that the place one or is that the? Uh, that's deploy fleet power. So you actually get to deploy. Um, however many, uh, star bases you have, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, not star bases, shipyards. Deploy, you have, deploy, deploy. Yeah, 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 you get to deploy one shipyard. Okay, so I've got to spend two of those doohickeys, so let's do that. Yep. Uh, this one here, yep. One, oh, yeah, sorry. Two, oh, yep. And then deploy this and boost up. Yep. That's boost up there. Now, it is important to note, you could actually put, you could put, sorry. You could put that Corvette, you could put another Corvette in here if you wanted to, in this sector. Oh, okay. So that Corvette is full, but you could actually get another Corvette and put it in. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Let's do that. Yep. Yeah. And get ready for that attack. Yeah. yeah. So this is still, so this is two. Um, so at the end of his turn, uh, he still has that 
max of two, so that's fine. If he wanted to add a third, if he fills this Corvette up and tries to add he's a third... Got, he's got three. Yep, but it's in one sector. It's a max okay. of two in one sector. Okay. Cool. Uh, Rowan, did you resolve this card? No, you did. When resolving, you didn't do politics? Cool. So do you want to take the punishment or do you want that to go into the... What is that punishment? It's a packet of fries from McDonald's. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it is a void born deployment. <laughs> oh, hold on. Uh, a void born deployment where? Do I choose? Or do do, 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 do. Uh, there's, there's rules on that void born, but it looks like a void born deployment. That's the only one I can think of in this top. It doesn't have the okay. blue square at the bottom of it, but it looks like a void born deployment to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um,. Yep, I'll cop the void void born deployment, and we'll yep. see where it goes. So we're going to uh, so uh, void born fleets and deployment. Some costs will re require deployment when instructed to do so before resolving the benefit in question, since it's a cost. Place a void born fleet or sector defense in a void born sector adjacent to at least one of your sectors. Yes, so, I would like to put it in the one to the north of me. Well, yep. We, so uh, if it's in multiple sectors or adjacent to your... Uh, select the one with the fewest fleets. Is there one with the fewest fleets? So, yep, you can put it up there if you wanted to. There's a draw. Let's put it up there. Uh -huh, uh, so if it's a sector... So if multiple void-born sectors with the... Thing, um, high, with the one with the highest population. Yep, so it's going to go there. Perfect. You don't get to choose. It's going to go there. Okay, <laughs> let's put it there. Because it was between it was between this one and that one, but because this one's two population, that's a four population. That's where it's going to go. All right. Cool. So you're resolving that. You're taking the punishment. And David, your event card is the hunter becomes the hunted. After regroup, have five or more fleet power adjacent to one cedar. 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 What does cedar mean? I don't. No. I'll have a look at that while you're... Um, well, after regroup. After regroup. So I have a... Where is my regroup card? Okay. So that's the Whoa. progress card. Well, that's all right, because I was actually going to play that card anyway. So have five or more fleet power adjacent to one cedar. I'm not going to be able to do that. I just don't have enough power. Where's um, the power? So, mm. okay. Or well, the consequence is to put a corruption on my open on my agenda, which is on, not what I want either. Yeah. Because how do we get more agenda cards? So that's what you've uh, to, you've, yeah. So you've got to play an action like conquest, which gives you an action card. Um, and you can have to play a card like Temptation, which will give you an action card. So when you get the agenda cards, which are available over at Subterfuge Growth and Expansion, which is over on, underneath my board, you'll only get to play them into effect when you play, for instance, because um, my next turn is probably going to look like this. I'm probably going to play the action of, sorry, of, I'm going to play the action of production, which will allow me to slot this open agenda into place. I'll then place my trade token over here instead because that I want to have to pay the upkeep cost. Yep. I'll go about my actions and then um, if I want to, I can do these things as well, I believe. Okay. But okay. to do that, I still have to pay the cost, which is two food, correct? Um, yeah, yeah. So you have to pay when you do that upgrade, you, you have to pay that the cost in the cost. white. Yeah. In the top so line, I pay that yeah. So I pay that cost, and then you get the benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so it's, it's it's so it's playing the card. So playing the card, you can do it before you take those actions. So yep. it's not it's not so much the action on the card, but it's playing that card and using that card for this cogs, cycle. The cogs. So yep. I play this, which allows me to do this. Yep. This is a free action, I do believe. This is free. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah, you, so that's a free you, action. you can only do it because you played that card. So, but you need to get them, and the way to get them is using, you'll see Conquest will give you one, um, and then I believe the other one, that, yeah, that gives you one is, I've already played it. 
is prosperity gives you one. Yeah. All right. So currently, Rowan has five or more power. He's actually got five power on the board. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now, so did we clarify what a cedar means? Um, no, and I can't see it in the um, rule book. I'm guessing a cedar is one of your, like, it's one of the regions that your fleets have come from. And I don't believe that that one there, so that star one, that's just on an agenda space. I don't think that has to be on an open agenda. So it doesn't Correct. have to go on. Yeah. So yeah. That oh. could go ah. here instead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So okay. you could take that consequence okay. without right. having to cry. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in that case, I probably just want, probably do want to get another, hang on, so I've got one science guild, I've got two, I was wondering whether I should uh, do some production. Well, yeah, with the production, one of the activities means that you can spend two food to get rid of the corruption, which you can just put back straight away. Yeah. So you take yeah. the free action and then you take the bottom action and then it sort yep. of just balances out. You don't get so to increase your society, but... Correct. But if I do the production first, I can go up the production, but then lose the production. Correct. Lose the results. Yeah. And it gets rid of that card. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a dodgy turn. Um, you Oh, wait. You, you don't have a lot of food production at all. I thought you had more no, food production. No, right? no, I don't really. So... Hmm. So, oh, but you will increase your other stuff. So your other stockpile will go up with production. And I do have a bit of money, which I can pay for. And don't forget, at the bottom of the um of the galactic card is you know targets you're trying to see. So there's um two uh not uh two sectors that are not infected. So clean uh pure sectors with at least four population in them. And you get a basic improvement. If you with this, uh, this, oh yeah, down here, cool. Yep. Yeah, sorry, I completely forgot about this part. If you have two or fewer total empty um, spaces on a sector, you get. Um, I don't even know what that means. Is that the card? Is that an action now, on that I, card? I, I think it means. Do you get to pick up your cards? Is that what it is? Oh, is that what that? No, 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 no. Have no, you... that's a player sector. No, that's a. It says something about player sector. So if you've got two or few empty guild availability spaces, yeah, which David actually already has achieved. Control, uh, actually, yeah, yeah all no, except yeah, for uh, Callum hasn't. Callum's the only person that hasn't achieved that one. No, they've got to be empty, don't they? It no. says empty, not built. two or fewer oh. empty. Two or fewer empty. Yes, yeah, sweet. Yeah, you will get yourself. An oh, so additional... everyone's achieved it. Yeah. Yeah, you'll get an additional whatever that card is, which okay. I think yeah, is I think the. It's the prosperity card, isn't it? Yes. Is that a prosperity card? Yeah, it yeah. is the prosperity card. So yeah. will okay. you just pick that prosperity card up or will you That's get an I'm... additional one? Oh, here you go. Res uh, it, it is resolve one action from uh, uh, one action from that card. Oh, yeah, nice. Ah, okay, yeah, cool. okay. All right. Uh, I think I probably do need to do some production. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll do that action. So I'll do the production action and I will produce first. Mm -hmm. So so that means that I get two food. Mm -hmm. I get Wait, one. No, you get do you gotta increase your engineer's guild, so you gotta put that up too. Did you put it up too when you built your your um energy? I don't think you did. Oh no, no, I didn't. Cool. I didn't. So I you didn't. get three. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. So why am I sorry? Wait a sec. Explain to me why. So Your production... that went up to four because yeah. when you built the um the engineers guild into the population sector of two. Yeah. Yes. yes. And so that yeah. went up two, and yep. so you'll see inside that three, there's a four. Yeah. Four production of means that you get three output. Yeah. Okay. So you, you're okay. getting four production because you have got the engineering guild in your home world and the engineering guild in your extra sector and both of yeah. them have two population so they're both generating two uh so that's yep. four which is actually only outputting three energy yep mm -hmm. and so what happens to the other 
So when you... It lies. Oh, yeah. So you're getting nothing. So that's still just at two. That's still just at two. And this is at two as well. So what okay. does that look but like? Your production yep. gives you three two, additional four. energy. And you need three additional yep. energy and one extra uh, materials. So this one, this one should be at one. So it's actually on two here. So the inner circle. No, it could be two. his starting though. It could be his starting benefits. So it doesn't change because his starting benefit means he gets three starting on his food. Okay. And his starting benefit gives him two of everything else. So that doesn't change. I wouldn't have thought. Yeah. Uh that's what I'm just thinking. Like it hasn't, he hasn't built or removed anything. No, that's just how it starts. So I don't think that that changes. No, but so that's I yeah. That yeah. He well, gets one, two, three, and one more material. Happy days. Yep. Yeah. There yeah. you go. That's your that's your production action taken, and we've okay, micromanaged it. And apologies. So now I want to do that production again. Which one? No. No. no, no you so can't I've do yeah. yeah. Right. So you either do this one do, or that one. So I can go down to food. Mm hmm to do this top here to get yeah. rid of that corruption to get rid of that corruption or and then you cop the consequence and you get it back yeah yeah and i just get it back yeah yep. sweet cool yep so you're going to do that do production yep cool. wait we'll find out actually i've already moved the card over what's my crisis sweet um what does that mean i reduce one of my things when david did you a... bring your cool. food down by two yes you did i think is that an extra two of every one of those that, that's insane. That's that? so expensive. So if I wanted to play an agenda card, it's going to cost me six production of everything. It's going to cost you six you production do, overall, yeah. Right? So that six... was going to be your turn, right? <laughs> you was going to do yeah. an upgrade, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to do it, and I'll just go lose some. I'll take the consequence. Anyway. Oh, you're going to take the consequence take instead. Is, yeah, I'll take the production, which gives me the ability to go... Um, <laughs> Oh, actually, no. The first thing I'm going to do is this thingy thing, which increases. So I'll get a Voidborn in a base close to me, which means the Voidborn goes here. There you go. Thanks, mate. It's great to see you there. Um, and I increase that one, which allows me to increase my population. So society. I assume that it is that across all of my sectors. Um, I think it's just a one, I think. So it doesn't say, it just says increase population. It it's, doesn't specifically say that it has to go increase population in a certain sector. It just says increase population. Yeah, just increase population. So in it's not a... that one. It's not that one. It's over here. Oh, sorry. Where? Oh, that one. Um, yeah, yeah so it's just increase one population. Yeah. In all or just no, in just, one? No, just, just in one sector. Yeah. Cool. I'll make that one three, which allows this one, all of these to go up by one. one yeah. Two, so that could three. increase your home sector if you wanted to. Yeah, that has increased my home sector, which yeah. then means I'm going to take the free action of production. Yep. Which have you, which, have so you I'm resulted? I'm going to do that in a moment. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So then I'm going to do that, which is going to leave me to get three food. One, two, three, two energy and three materials yep that's then completed that action i'm going to spend two food oh it's not completed you can also get points oh yeah cool uh what did Eight, i get I got 16 three, six, 16 sweet it's gonna get up to 39 sweet cool um and then i'm gonna spend my two food like i said and i'm going to get this card which allows me to place a guild of any kind and increase the population if i want to so I cool. can do that, and yep. I'm going to increase the pop. So I'm going to build myself another food store yep. in this area here, and I'm going to increase the population of my home base to four. Cool. And that's your turn done. Um, and then hold up. Yes, what's up? Go. I said go, Cal. Cool. Um, and I'm going to put this down here because I don't want to have to pay that up, guys. Yep. I might even flip it. No, I won't. See, cool, cool. Um, and I take the consequences of losing a single, um, a built single one of these guys' fleet power off my set. Done. Why did you take a fleet power? Oh, was that one of the? Oh, yeah, the yeah. Cool. The crisis. Oh, consequence. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. Uh, Rowan, your last card for this cycle. 
is Whispers in the Dark. So gain a corrupted agenda. If you gain a corrupted agenda, I don't even know what a corrupted agenda is. Um, Where are they? I can't see any corrupted agendas. Um, I'm just quickly looking through the rules because they do have a list of all the agendas. War crisis. What are these ones? General crisis. <laughs> Military crisis. Star bases. Torpedoes. Cloning. Something else. Destroyers. Uh, uh, this is ridiculous. Surely not. I think a corrupted. I think a corrupted one is just. Um. Yep. So you, yeah. So it's one of those. So it's an agenda that's going to have corruption on it. Yeah. Yeah. Which means you don't score for that agenda. Remove this corruption onto one of my agendas. Um, no, I think you have to get a new corrupted. Because once these are down, you're not meant to be able to move them. So. Okay. So you have so to I've get a, you get a corrupted space. Corrupt a substitute well, subterfuge agenda. And I maybe suggest that you leave that on the track. I'm just thinking that one of the the way we're going to win this game is by getting points, and if we deny ourselves points, yeah, mm -hmm. we're not going to be able to. I'm just thinking, like, based on yeah, the current, we haven't been trying to get points in a while. No, yeah, and I'm just thinking the way the way the board state is at the minute, like, it's fine to be on pretty, there. Yeah, we're pretty we're pretty okay. Like mm -hmm. that's, I'm just thinking yeah. that's mm -hmm. maybe. So take take the best action you can with the cards in your hand. Hey, I know what action I want to take. Well, then do take it. it. Just do it. Conquest, you're going to start invading. Nice. Where are you invading? Oh, that sucks. oh wait. So you got to pay if you want to do invading. You do have to pay some energy. Yep. So two energy. Right, two so... energy, which is over here, my friend. But you yeah, could, yep, got that in spades. Yeah, he's got heaps of energy. Energy. Yep. Two. Yep. And Where you are you can. Taking? Yep. Are you going to take now. this? Wait here. Surely down there. Nice. Surely, yeah, yeah. So you can if you wanted to before you did that. You will win with two. So you could actually leave two up there if you wanted to. I'm thinking about that, but also up there in that in that sector, there's two defense already. Okay. Mm. So yeah. Maybe I should take the whole three. Yeah. Maybe take the whole three. You could actually you could if you wanted to, mm -hmm. rather than going here, you could actually take all three up there, and it will beat that. You're going to get more from this because that's a four population. That's a two population. Okay. Okay. So you take all three up. Yep. They go up. Deterministic combat. You've got three advantage. They've got two advantage. You, you take off first. So you take off one of theirs. Not my. They take, take off one, one of yours. Now, just as I said before, this doesn't go back to your supply. It goes back onto your board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you take one of theirs. Yeah. And you now win that region. So yeah, that harbinger goes onto the board. So you get to choose if it's going to go onto blue or red. Where do we where do we think, fellas? Well, I'm not quite sure what the icons on the blue one mean. Does that so mean blue... you go down on any any? Do you resource? pay a cost? Yeah, you pay a cost. Or yep. you get... or or you add to the catastrophe. Yeah, yeah. catastrophe. I okay. Yep. I just want to drop these okay. chips off the table in just say bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. So now you control this region. Now with this corruption, so you can either leave that. Oh, sorry, it's meant to be four. That was on four. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can either leave that corruption there, but you won't be able to use. You can't increase the population there, and you can't uh, generate. Most of the time, you can't generate because it's not a pure. You could move that corruption to any other sector. Or you can take that corruption onto your board. So you do you actually have a space for it if you wanted to take it onto your board. With this corruption here. Yeah, yeah, sure. What are we thinking, guys? Uh it's a four population. I think you should take it onto your board. Okay. Yeah, yeah and then you you start to develop that cool. sector. Yeah. So that you can you could really get Yeah, and then over. next time what you get to do is you can play the um I think there was a, that that production there's a oh you can play politics if you wanted to, which allows you to kill one of them. Well he's still got a second action on his card. On and... conquest, yeah, his bottom conquest, you could remove one of your um things you... off your base and then kill it. Yeah. 
you can actually remove a corruption if you if you lose one of your fleet power on your board you can use this bottom action to get rid of one of these corruptions or the other option oh. is place a void born down a two money and get an upgrade or get another but you can't really use it at the moment so i think i'll pay a cube to get rid of one of those corruptions cool that's kind of neutral yep you take the cube i'll take the corruption yep cool okay um you didn't resolve the event um so do you want to take the stuff of the consequence or are you going to put this onto the uh, long going what's this subterfuge agenda oh wait so we can actually so basically you could do so the subterfuge event oh do you have a sub so it has to be yours or does it go to the future agenda I think it has to be one of yours, but I don't yeah. think he has a subterfuge of an agenda. He has to, oh no, he doesn't. Sweet, so he can't take the. Yep, you can't, can't take, take the punishment. That. So, do you want it to go into blue or to red? What happens when you push the harbingers off? Do they just then? Go off? Uh, yeah. So once the they come off, they just go off. Yeah. Oh, sick! Yeah, just do that. But it means it that means David's that going has to... to pay. Yeah, a singular. Which yeah. Is... Mm. Or everyone uh, and you, you will have to pay it as well on your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I know. Uh, so, Rowan? Um, red. Red? Awesome. David? Mm. I probably need some. I, I actually need. <laughs> um... You can't resolve the. Yeah. You're going to yep. yep. get attacked with three. Oh, it's important to note. So, this one, it's not going to go onto the track at all. Right. Hold on a second. Yeah, the void because, falls upon the, us. Yeah, yeah, it won't go on. It won't because it'll either go, it'll either get attacked or it will become a crisis. Correct. Yep. Yep. So you either have to take the attack or it's going to be a catastrophe. It's not going to be long going. It's an event rather. Like it's a single time event rather than turning into a long term event. If that makes sense. All right. So there's going to be a skirmish in in this sector. And you're going to get attacked with three at the moment. Three. Quite possibly. Yeah. You... Or we're going to have our first crisis. Or a catastrophe, yeah, sorry. Okay, so... Uh... So, I'm just trying to work out if there's a way. Can I... Can I... How do I increase the fleet power, then, of that Corvette? Okay, I'm just yeah. trying to work out... So, there, yeah, yeah you'd need to play a card from you. The production i believe not production um reinforcements right and i've already um, i've already played that card so mm -hmm. yeah i don't think you so have any cards cool. that's going to be however, able to do that however if i oh yeah no i can't the temptation cards lets lets me to take back two cards but it adds corruption i'm not going to be able to do that because i can't do that and play on the same turn so do you take them back into your hand or do you play two actions off any card? I think you play two actions in the same way that if you go to technically yeah. this one here, you know how you play. So you just play two actions off any other card. Yeah. Right. So you don't take it back. You just take the actions, right? Yeah, yeah. You just okay. take the actions okay. from any, yeah. So, so is that? for example, the reinforcement mm -hmm. card says... Oh, to... take... Oh, so yeah, which one's it say? Which one are you doing? Sorry, where is it? Uh... He was hoping to do Temptation, which is this one here. Right, cool. There. Yeah. So basically, he's going to gain a Corruption, which he's going to have to put directly on his board or into an area that he owns. Yep. I'll yep. just put it on my board. Yeah, sweet. And um, he can then take two actions from any card that, if you flip it, has the arrows. Yep. So two actions, but on different cards, because that not equals means I think two actions from it, two you, different cards. No, no, it means two that two you can't actions. take the same action twice. Action twice. Yeah. So okay. it could be two actions from the same card if you wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Where did you and get then, your corruption? Well, I'm just trying to then work out. Can does that then mean that I can then do the reinf? I mean, so the reinforcement action means I can then reinforce that sector. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And you can build ships according yep. to the yep. amount of shipyards you have. Yep. So this okay. is going to cost okay. you one corruption though. So it's going yep. to be one so corruption. I'll, I'll take a corruption then. I'll put it. I'll put a corruption on my board. Yep. Yep. So I'll do that. I've got Where's a foil. Oh, yep. So there's you're going to play temptation. I'll play mm -hmm. temptation. I'll do the reinforcement action. 
Yeah. Are you building ships or are you building um, sh the defense turrets? Well, you could do both. Well, you can, yeah, true. I could true, do true. both, but I'm just wondering how much up upkeep that's going to cost me. That's going to cost me. Uh, now, Callum, would you read that that it's any two actions from any two cards, or is it okay. any two actions from one card? I'd say any to so two actions from any card. Yeah, any I would say the same because it card. looks like a deck of cards. Yeah, there. yeah. Um, but it, do you think that he still has to pay the cost of those actions? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. He still has to pay the costs. It's normal. Okay. So I have to pay the costs. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I, what I want to do is I want to reinforce, I want to reinforce this fleet because eventually what I want to, this Corvette, because what I actually want to do is split that Corvette mm -hmm. and then move into one of the adjacent sectors. Yes. Okay. So, so if you I, create yeah. production wise, you'll actually get two fleets that you can yeah. put into here. So you'll yeah. get a new Corvette anyway, if, if that's something that you decide. Yeah, it is. That's Alexa. what I need to do. That's yeah. what I need to so do. So you'll get two fleets because you've got the two shipyards mm -hmm. and you can put them either one and one or two onto both sort of thing. So one can be three and one could yeah. be one. So I'll be one, I'll be one, and then I'll then one. Yeah. yeah. So Sweet. I'll do that. You've got to reduce your materials by two, as is the cost. Yep. Yeah, that one. Sweet. Two. And now you've got the opportunity to take one more action. My almost recommendation would be a production action so that you can re like could be costs and it costs you nothing. Yeah, but I it is your call. Yep. I think that's so a good idea. It's also is yeah, so the temptation focus, actions of this focus card cannot be copied unless explicitly stated otherwise. Just so you're aware. So I'm gonna take the production action, which is to go up on the production track by Two? Oh, no, it, it does say one here. They need to clean up the iconography. So replication, what? gain one corruption to copy two different actions from one focus card currently in your discard pile. Okay, so two actions oh. from one card. Yeah, yep. so you can do that one as well if you want to. But I, Okay, so I can't do the bottom one. So that, yeah, so that, um, I could do the top one. No, you've already done the top one. Oh, sorry, you can do the yeah. bottom. Yeah, you can do those. Yep. So because okay. of this little symbol on on there, that means that this card can't be copied. That's what that symbol is looking for. Okay. So I'll do. I'll do. Okay. That's going to cost me two, two energy to then either regroup. What was one? Was one of the cards a regroup? Is that gone? No, that's gone. Um. Uh, two energy to do a regroup, which I don't need to do, or two points per per um, thing, or you can uh, upgrade your civilization. That's not a bad. That's a really good thing. But I don't have any more. Oh, you don't. Tubes. Yeah, no, no, no that's annoying. That so one. you have to do, yeah. But I could choose not to do. You that. could choose not to do the action. That's fine. You still have an action to do on the temptation. So you could do the second one, which is trailblazing, um, which increases, which gives you an orb back. Yeah. So you could do it in a different order. You could do the orb. Yeah, yeah. You could do that. You could do that in. You can do it in in any order you want. But they both cost corruption. So Correct. you Get another corruption there. Correct. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't look. I. I won't take. I don't so, think. So I you have can to do two actions. You don't have to. No. no. No, but yeah. so you could actually do this, take this, and then use this card to get rid of one of those extras. So it's actually kind of going to be almost like a free. Ah, oh, freebie. Yeah, because then you can actually generate some stuff and then take this action if you're able to after that. Yeah, this because this creates a you get one, but then you're going to lose it straight away for that. <laughs> but but, it, but it's going to mean that I go up. Yeah. Yeah, you'd actually you'd actually get to get rid of one of the the temptations, you, the corruptions you just got. Still yes. take an action on this board and yes. take this action. Does that make sense? Yes, but yeah. I can't. I, but does that mean I, I I haven't? I will have to reverse what I just did with my. No, 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 no. You can do them no, in any no, order. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Card, okay. card actions you can do in okay. any order. All right. So, sure. Yep. Or, what did you do? Although that's going to reduce so my food, though. Yeah, so he's going to take an extra corruption. Yep. So the extra corruption is going to go there. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's... Oh, yeah, no, he's... sorry, you can't. No, because that's not copy copying. Sorry, it's not copying twice. No, this is... That's that's my bad. That's me being what? an idiot. Um, so he's going to... If you take that extra corruption, you'd get... So you'd be able to play this, but you won't be able to get rid of it just yet. But this is the last cycle. You're going to get this card back in your hand next turn. 
like it, like for the next card you play yeah. if you wanted to. Yeah, look, let's not do that. Yep. The cool. reason well, the reason you might want to do it though, because you get this one, you get your base, you increase here so you can actually get yourself an upgrade. And like, you get places, and, and you get a reinforcement. You upgrade your politics, yeah, next time you get your politics, you actually get rid of one as well. Could oh, work. Yeah. But it means yeah. you're, just, you're stacked with rock. It's a good time to do it if you are going to do it. Look, I, I probably will because it is a good time to take corruption based, based yep. on the fact I ha don't have any agenda cards in my hand. And you're going to get a, yeah, you're going to get an agenda from it as well. And I'll get an agenda which I'll be able yep. to play later. So hopefully. Cool. So we'll okay. do the agenda last. So you get a car, you get a power fleet, but you're going to have to spend that straight away. So which one? Yep. So I get that. Yep. So then you upgrade one of your civilizations. Yep. So I'll take, I'll take that. Yep. To get a science. Yep. Um, yep. And you also get a um, uh, star sector uh, defense somewhere. So you sector can put that defense. sector defense anywhere you'd like or in one of your two regions. Yeah, well, I've only got, I think, does it have, to, can it be in home? It's it could be, yeah, matter. it could be any, any, any of two. Oh, look, it's probably this one's the best one to go. Yep. Because seeing as I'm going to split that one later. So. Yep. Cool. And then, so now you get to choose an up, upgrade and you get to choose a science. So over over here I've you get to choose so not upgrade. an upgrade. Uh you've oh you've chosen an upgrade. Oh no oh, no, well, you I get said, another. I... This is your Oh right. Yeah, that's well in that case I'm gonna go up. No, no, oh, sorry, is... uh so I mean a research. So you get Oh, from... I get to choose one of those. Yeah, you right. get to choose another one from over here. Okay. Yeah, okay. so any one from here and you also get one of these. Or you can do from one of the decks two cards and choose one. So It's a big. Mm. That's a you know. It's a big turn, but it also costs you a well, lot in corruption. Well, mm. oh. uh, maybe now that I've got quite a bit of corruption, I might take purification, which means I can store corruption on that card. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah. So uh, just take the top one. Yep. So you're going to get three point three points from it on the side. Yeah. yeah. Do you get three points, which Callum's already given you? Yep. Oh, oh have you? Or you? Oh no, you got three oh. points before. Oh, yeah. So you're on twenty six now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you, did you get your points for your production that you did let earlier before? Uh, no, he didn't. Which was, oh. oh, was it? No, oh, was he, it? No, uh, was I it? Didn't take points. He didn't. He didn't take points. Uh, he did. No, that's so. Because yeah, he would have got. He would have got twelve points. He... So I'm going to use another twelve. When? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, from a previous turn. Yep. 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 So, so, right, you so may. I'm gonna I'm, yep, cool. I'm going to move, move, move that on there. When you I'll resolve politics or progress, um, you may remove that. Yes. Uh, yep, cool. Move, remove corruption. Yep, and that doesn't cost you anything to do either. That's just a action of playing yeah. that uh, that focus. Um, cool. so they're going to attack. Yes. Yep. Uh, two are removed before they even get there. You have a bigger fleet to them, so it's actually going to automatically squash, squash, oh, squash them, it. squash them flat. You oh, went from being going to lose to them to being you decimated them before they. Well, that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, look, that card probably came up at the right time, being that I was going to probably take that action anyway. Yeah. Um. Uh, so. What am I dealing with? Boom! Flip. Yep. I uh, while was it? While was it? Resolving progress focus, gain at least one influence for excess in science. I don't even know what for progress. Excess science. Uh gain at least one influence for excess science. Yeah. So what's the progress focus? Uh that's this one here. I put it next to my board. I don't really yeah, know yeah. what that means. Um oh, okay, so every so science yeah, you have sorry. left. So if you you're spending you spend two science. Yeah. You have you'll have two science left, so you will gain at least one influence for excess science. How do you gain? Ah, oh, okay. So you three. So that middle one, that's the middle one, the middle yeah. action. Yeah. So as long as I've got a singular, but I don't have it's uh, that's You're on not... um, guild, so I don't Correct. have a guild. I so basically, in order to resolve this, you need to get 
um, a science guild. Science guild, yeah, sweet. What's the other one? I lose a cube. I've still got a cube to lose. Sweet, I can yeah. do that. Which means I can really do whatever I want. So I'm going to try this leadership skill. And somebody please explain to me. This one seems pretty complicated. And yep. it's about me helping my friends. So, so this I is can where... either upgrade or I can upgrade my friends. Yep. Um, and that's uh, where the joint production down the bottom here. So you actually up upgrade one of your um, mm -hmm. things to one of these cards. So you actually get to do, you can do that particular. Uh, so in the first leadership queue, you can get, mm -hmm. um, you or one of your friends can upgrade to a leadership and you can also trade resources with them. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's not I in danger of not having enough um, upkeep to pay for, because that's the next turn like that's the next mm. thing we do um that's the first one the second one is the same so you actually get to um do it again but... do it again yep the or you could actually resolve so if you're in the event track that's a great way of getting yeah. rid of excess events and the third mm. one is the same again uh, of of uh leadership um and what is it? I get rid of one of the gross things as well. Yeah, so it's uh so spend two science, recall a fleet power from a sector you control to track your reserve. One player may upgrade a joint focus and or destroy one harbinger on the threat. That's a yeah, it's a way of destroying the harbingers. Sweet. On the so threat. I'm probably gonna take the first one, spend my dollars. One dollar. Yep one of the dollars and i can upgrade to one of these correct so i can upgrade either joint production which is just money for jam yep so it's me or someone else correct can, yeah is that, so, so me or yeah. You, yeah one player may upgrade to a joint mm -hmm. focus and then yeah sweet i'm gonna probably take that one for me so i'm gonna get rid of yep so you uh, get that yep so put that in in my in my future hands but i get rid of production don't correct I? yeah so you get rid cool. of production so that one's gonna go over here somewhere cool gone um and so that's the first action the second action i'm going to do is spend two science and recall a cube so two science and recall a cube from that's from here yep. yep yep into into them yep yeah and that's and that way i can then upgrade somebody else's yep. do i flip over another one or no do they reset at the uh so they or... get reset at the start of the next cycle who's been Join prosperity prosperity is a good way to get points and it's also worth noting you have a trade token if you wanted to get that third um no because i'd have to flip and spend no is it flip and spend well, I, that looks like... Oh, yeah, yeah, it. yeah, you lose. Yeah, you flip and spend. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Um, I don't even... Oh, look, I, I kind of want to upgrade someone. Does it? You, you, does anybody want joint politics or joint prosperity? Can anybody play prosperity? Here, there you uh, go. There you go, Rowan. Have prosperity. Get rid of your current prosperity, and that's yours. And on that, I'm going to be like, you know what? Of prosperity. Yeah, so your prosperity yeah. is now joint prosperity, so we can have a good time. And I get rid of one of these harbingers because fuck you harbingers. Um, and I don't know which one we kill. Sorry about the language; that was a bit rude. Um, which one don't we want? Um, I reckon we're I reckon we're pretty pretty healthy for 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 military might at the moment. Yeah, so let's get rid of that let's one. Get rid of the blue two one. of those. Oh, oh, no. Sweet. That is, that is gone. Yep, that's everyone have played their four cards. So we now calculate. You can do this simultaneously. So for every Dreadnought, Carrier, or Destroyer, you have one upkeep. For every um, installation, so this is a Starbase, a, you know, the, the, the top triangles, that's one. And for every bank, that's also one. So just up your, um, on your personal Two, player tracks. Three, four. Four. Uh, yep. what, what do I get for that? Rowan, are you up, upping your Am yours I getting or? points for this or is this? No, my, no. This, this is, is your costing. upkeep. Yeah, upkeep. You. So on your player board. One, not, so, not Corvettes. Uh, not Corvettes. No, no. So, so no one's going to finish it. Where do I pay for this? How do I know how I'm paying? So you it? calculate it here. Yeah, where? On your player where board. Where are you pinging? On your player board. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm you're on. at the moment getting. Four. Four. Yep. Um, then for each uh, corruption. corruption you have, so that's whether it's on the board or on your player board, I believe, mm -hmm. um, you gain two, two. 
Yep. Now everyone only has it on their player board anyway, so yeah. So, so David, that's four for you. That's, yep, yep. And for Rowan, each science, you've got two. one. I don't each, know about that one. If the I science, don't... so you see on the yes. science card, there's a little red square. Yep. So mm -hmm. David's getting none. None. Callum's getting none, and Rowan's getting none. So none of you getting it from the science. That's fine. Mm -hmm. And then you get three for any open agenda that's not covered up by a token. None of yep. you are getting extra from there. So that is how much you need to pay. Yeah. And you either pay that with, if you're using food, it's one food for two upkeep. Uh, if you're using the other two, it's one for one. One for one. So you just have to get get up to ten to pay that upkeep. So I've got, to I've get got to two. Two, uh, and two. I don't have to pay because I've got um energy cells. I don't have to pay for my sentries. Oh, cool. So two, and then one, and then two. So paying yeah. four, so and if I two pay the... two food, and yeah. that covers the cost of that. Happy days. Two for the corruption. When do I get my food extra food. um energy cells? Do I get that now? Uh, that was no, no. I you never... started with that's why you started with five. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why you started with five. Everyone else only started with two. Makes yeah. sense. Cool. Um, so everyone's paid their upkeep? Mm -hmm. Yep. Rowan? Yep, paid. Paid. I, I have an upkeep of six. Beautiful. So, so does anyone have um, four in any two? No, Rowan's the only one with a four. Oh, and Callum's got a four, but you need two fours. Um, so no one, no one gets it. Is it two or oh, two areas with four? Yep, cool. Yep. So two off you total empty spaces on. Yes. Yep. So everyone has that. So you are all going to get to take the action. Or you can remove one Voidborn fleet from um, uh, Voidborn uh, fleet and sector defense. So it's up to you. Okay, so we can take the action of the prosperity. Okay. Yeah. But be aware that Rowan, you've got joint prosperity as well. So yeah. you can use joint prosperity, which yeah. is kind of beefy as. You probably want to use joint both prosperity, Rowan. Yeah. I can't one action because Oh no, no, one it's action. it's can you do it for free? Yeah, yeah. So it's one action from the joint from the prosperity card. So where's your But do you have to pay the cost though? You yes. Yeah, I can't yeah. pay the cost, so yeah. So, Rowan, for one food, you can increase your science. And what is that second? What is that question mark? What is that? Where? Sorry. Oh, so um, let's have a look. Uh, okay. I've got the rule book open. So, uh, joint. Oh, is that the play account? Yeah, that's the number of players. So you can but... increase your um, science for one food. You can increase your science. Or you can actually spaces. increase someone else's. Yep. You can I'm increase gonna, yours or the someone middle, else's. Middle, the middle action, because that's how I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some points. Mm hmm. So, what's the, what are the hieroglyphs on that telling us? Oh, that means you and another person get. Yeah. Um, Two points, victory. two Fine. victory points for each bank, science, and is that install? Are those are those star bases? Those are star bases. We don't have star bases though. But for each, um, if you take this action oh, yeah, for, they Sorry. Yes, they are. yeah, so it's science and banks, which is you and um, I would recommend you two because yeah. I don't have either of those. Yeah. Um, and the fries and the fries with the cross next to it. You will have to cop a, a singular void born in an area near you. So it will have to go down there, I think. The white is other player. Oh, so you two both will get additional two points each, which is a lot. No, I'll get, hang on. Let me see what I've got over there. Uh, no, I've got a oh, that's, I've got they need to fix that iconography. You can't have number of players and other player uh, and player the same icon. I've got two times seven, so I get fourteen points. Why do you why do you get seven? Set what? Two. So isn't you, it two times? 
You've banks and science. Banks and science. Yeah. Guilds. So We've got one banker's guild. Ah, okay. No, but yeah, but it's All the right. production you're doing on them. Is it your production or is it the amount of guilds? Uh, it looks like guilds to me. Pro prosperity. Um, uh, they're guilds. Second one. All right. Spend two food and trigger a uh, deployment. No. So you're, we're talking about joint prosperity, which allows him to get a void point summonation, which gives him influence to to influence times the amount of star bases, banks, and or science. Yeah. Yep. That's it. I recommend you spend your single food and just jack someone's science track through the knot up sure. to the tens. Sure. What does the um, void born with the cross symbol next to those? those it things? means you'll summon a singular void born next to one of your areas. Right. So it'll either be here, here, or yeah. here. Yeah, I get you. But I believe, yeah, so it'll either be these two, you can, uh, which will make it this one. one. It'll Let's be this one. one. I'll spend a food. Yep. And who are you jacking up? Jack yourself up, uh, mate. Have a great time. Yeah, I'll spend my food, and then how far do oh, I back up? You'll go well, up you can... three. And 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 a friend? No, nah, just you. Just you goes oh, up three, which is totally fine, mate. Have a great time. One, One, two, three. So you will be able to summon a bank, I believe it is. Is that a that's bank? A, that's a, a bank. bank. A bank or a science, and you'll get yourself a um agenda card. Agenda. Okay, is that correct? With so... A bank and a science. So yeah, you can put them in this sector four, which will be fuck. Sorry, um, or you can put it in this one here to you, the section two. But so that's that one. I'll bring the science guild down. Where do you want to put them? So you can put them down here. You can put them up here. So you're putting them in that one. Put the science guild down here. Okay, so the reason you would so you get increase your production of is that money that you put in for the four. So click the money four times here. One, two, three, four. And then do science by two. No, no, no. There you go. There you go. And that's that. You've done it? Yeah, cool. It's super small. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you'll actually have dials. But anyway, with the real game will have actual dials. So that's what you've done there with that one food that you've spent, which is ridiculous. That's immense. And you can do that every time. And you'll put that in your hand. Once a cycle, yeah. That's Once wild. Um, I actually didn't take that, so we're not. Cool. All right. Oh. Uh, has everyone um, actioned the card? So uh, we, we haven't done the... So we no. can decide if we want to. I think I'm going to remove a void fleet and, and, uh, and a thing. Yep. I've, yeah, I've already done that. Yep. yep so so because it's empty it. and then it goes back. Yep. yep. Cool. It goes back. Yep. That's okay. Cool. And does it have to be from the same area for the record? Uh... It doesn't say no. It just says it's remove adjacent. remove one Sweet. adjacent Vorborn fleet and um yeah so yeah you can do from one I'm of I'm gonna each. take this one here and I'm gonna take one from the bounty. Yep. So there we go. Cool. cool. So then score on your agendas. So these are the agendas next to your you score your victory points. So that's well, okay, David. So that's I yours. Get Rowan, you have three. two, and Callum, you have two cards to score on so as well. Nice. So that is 10 points. So for each of my sciences, I automatically get three. And I'll resolve three. any void born. No, there's nothing to resolve on that. Front. No sectors with, I've got a sector with four, but no sectors with five. Uh, do I have any sectors? Um, are those open? Is that, can you confirm for Dun, Dunlock A card? Um, yeah. If that's per um, guild that's not a bank times two? Uh, yes, correct. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, five. So that's an extra 10 points. Not sure how I score One, mine. Two, three, four, okay. Five, yep. So let's have a look at yours. So, um, mm -hmm. do you score any points on your, um, so you can either choose basic or advanced. So choose basic, you score six points. So you've got this one and this one, you're going to score six points from. Okay. Underneath it. Yep. So if you've got a sector that has five population on it, it scores five points. Yeah. You don't. Okay. Nope. Um, if you've got one that has a six on it, scores ten points. You score uh, two points for every guild that's not a bank. 
So that is one, two, three, four, five. So you score 10 points for that. So, not a bank. yep, so this one here, every guild that's not a bank, so you score two. Uh, yeah, so that's 14. 14 and then five. bank score you four, so that's 18 points. 18. Yep. And then this one, so it's just, it's just 10, so, you, so that's 28. And then for each um mining you get five you ha have two so you get 10 so that is uh 48 48 cool cool thank you uh, I just up here confirm, what is this yeah. plot to this something is it any one of my resources that is or any of my areas that have a population of higher than two uh what's the symbol so that's a sector I think that's a sector. Yeah. Sector. Yep. Any sector that has is equal. I don't even know what that equals. Let's that actually. Is. I um. Let's go down. I can. I can tell you what that means. Uh. So what is it? It is. Um. D two. Uh, no, it's not that one. It's not clear in the rule book. I think there is a. Yeah, there is. I'm just looking at that now. So. Yep. Yep. Verifications. Um, here we go. It's this one here. Some agendas or objectives will score for your fleet power. A fleet fully powered. A base that have at has least 10 energy production and influence. Oh, okay, so okay. each one of my on. sectors with less than two spots gives me eight points. Have at least 10 energy production. You don't have energy production. So, uh, Roland, we're just going to take 10 off yours just because this one here, you didn't actually score. Some agendas or objectives will so score. It's saying if, you have, if you're producing 10 or more energy, uh, you get 10. So, that's going to be, you're going to be on 80 instead of 90. So, Callum, yours is not equal to. It's just, yeah, it's, it's something. I, th I think it's a fleet question. So, it looks like a fleet question. No, basically, not equal Does to two or more. I think. Is it two, two or more fleet? Here we powers? go. So have at least two different fleet types in play. Ah, oh, right. So you don't. Uh, you only have no. one. Corvettes. Yeah. I've got two Corvettes, but yeah. yeah. Cool. And in order to upgrade, you need to get the dreadnoughts, which are over here in the advanced. So. And is that the only ones we can get? Uh, I think for this one, yeah. You can get them from here anyway. You can get basic dreadnoughts. Ah, yeah, you can get basic. Oh, yeah. So in order to get the dreadnoughts, you have to get the basic dreadnoughts and then upgrade them to the advanced ones. So. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Uh, so everyone's done that. I've done the void. Uh, that resolves the first cycle. Oh wait, hold up. Have you finished? Because you did you get your extra upgrade by the way? Who's that? You built your two bases, um, Ron, but you didn't get your um your open agenda unless you got your open agenda, did you? From what? So when he played the Joint Prosperity, so he played this action on the Joint Prosperity, he moved up three on the um, oh, okay, yeah, 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 and the economics, but yep. he hasn't picked his. You need to get your agenda out one of your agendas. And and David, you got your science, but you forgot to get your agenda as well. So David needs to pick a, a agenda from over here before Rowan does. That was meant to be from your turn. If you don't like any of those three, take the two top two cards from the. Deck. Uh... <laughs> hey Kenzie, how are we? Base, yes. This game is monumental. It did my head in. I think it's is it has it done your head in, guys? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game is it's a lot. It's on Kickstarter at the moment. Um I think it finish, the Kickstarter finishes okay. next week, so I'll I'll just take I'll just take the subterfuge. Cool. So then that replaces. Uh, so then, yep. So that goes into your hand. Uh, yeah. Then Rowan, you take a an upgrade. And if you take and say so this one here, if you use the yeah. prosperity action, which I assume you will, if you're a good yeah. friend of ours, yeah. you'll be able to play this agenda as well, which allows you to pay two science. Do an action off any card and just get yeah. money. That's it. Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> just you're a good man let no one say otherwise <laughs> yeah all right so that resolves the first cycle cool there's three cycles yeah. we'll be quicker we'll be quicker all right. now well, do we get rid of these ones so we've got to choose a new one don't we so we get rid of these three and you all choose a new one from your um from your other priorities so rowan your other priorities are here so the easiest thing to do is grab the cards from your hand Chuck them, um, oh, yeah. Before we go to the next cycle, can, can we just have a have a bit of a break? Yeah, yeah. go for a, a quick break. Um, I'll start setting stuff up so you can just, yeah. Cool. Yeah, gonna, 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 we're going to keep playing. Are you going to you you pause the Twitch? Or? Uh, yeah, I'll pause the Twitch, yeah. Just yeah. pause the Twitch. So we'll just yeah. pause the Twitch um, and we'll be back soon.
and welcome back to Voidfall. So we're actually going to call that for a stream tonight. We've been going for quite a while um, and they've only gone one third of the way through. So that's been almost three hours. That included the teaching some preamble and then uh, answering some questions. But um, yeah, we haven't played before. So this was the first play. Yeah, this is definitely the first play. Um, initial thoughts, guys. Who do you want to start with? Let's uh, let's go around the circle, David. You can start first. Yeah. Well, I reckon. Look, that's the first the first cycle, and you can sort of see where we're up to. We've got we've got a few points on the board after the first cycle, and I think in the second cycle, I can see where we're positioned on the board. I reckon we'd be in a pretty strong position after the second cycle, and we probably might even finish it before. Like we probably would satisfy that the win condition. I'd suggest maybe at the end of the next cycle, maybe yep. um, just based on, you know, I know where I'm sort of heading to and I think I can clean up a couple of extra sectors. Um, and I, I just think that there's just that there's a lot of iconography that you've, you've just got to get your head around. Um, and I think if you can invest a bit of time into, into learning that iconography, um, I, I, sh I think by the next cycle and certainly by the next game, you'd whip through it, you know, much, much quicker, but, um, I guess you just got to have the time to, to put into learning it and, and getting through, I guess the first maybe couple of games, which would be a real crunch. Yep. Um, yeah, to really sort of get value out of it. So yeah. beautiful. Uh, well, before we, you know, do our rough scoring, it's, it's going to be, I probably won't, we won't do a full scoring on, uh, on, on the app just because we've only played one third in, in the first cycle. Um, but, uh, Callum, before we move on to that, let's, uh, what, what's your, what are your thoughts? Yeah. Let me go first and say it's beautiful. Um, the one thing I'll say, this car, this game is beautiful. You look at some of the creations, the miniatures, the, the, the artwork on some of these boards, it is astoundingly, it's like that, that the rift, for example, where you can have a look at that, that is like, I, it sort of really pops and I love the way TTS has got the space board. So I love that. The components probably are going to be really exciting and that's why it goes to Kickstarter. So you're going to enjoy that element of being able to move your ships around, have that tactile nature. Um, I, I think I do agree with, with David, the, iconog the iconography it's fantastic once you get your head around it. And I think somewhere at the end, it sort of was clicking for me. And you like, I felt my turns going faster because I knew what I wanted to do. Um, and, but initially I, I, I really struggled with that, but I'm, I'm glad that we sort of did push through and I can see how well this will build. And I love the engine element. You build that engine. You've got, for me, I'm ready to go. Like I've got all of my materials. I've got all of my farms. I'm ready to go to take that next step into sort of building a force to invade, et cetera, et cetera. And those are probably those next steps. And like you said, David, I think we could probably get to hopefully win condition by the end of the next round, if not definitely by the end of the third round. Um, look, it, it's pretty, it's lovely. It'll be exciting. It's very, it's it's going to be amazingly kickstarted because of all of these these elements, those destroyers, those dreadnoughts. And we we only played with half of the game. We're only playing with Corvettes and potentially destroyers. We didn't even get to that element. Like when you start playing this game and get sinking your teeth into it, it'll be a game you play for hours and you'll love it. But yeah, it's just sort of for, for where we are now. I'm not sure it was probably a game for me at this point, but that's okay because it is beautiful. And I can see that it has, a, it has an audience. Yep, Rowan. Yes, I agree. Um, beautiful game. The the amount of work that would have gone into develop this game is is enormous, um, and to to get it to this level with the artwork is 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 fantastic. Um, it's not a four X game. It's it's really you're not exploring as such. Um, it, it's probably one of the heaviest games I've ever played, and I've I've played a lot of games in my time. Um, I, I love the space forex genre, um, but this wasn't. I got to be honest, this wasn't doing it for me in in the sort of game that I normally would like to play. Yeah. Um, I, I won't draw any comparisons, but this is definitely you are against. You are battling an enemy. Um, in this in this instance, um, you know we were we were playing cooperatively, 
I really actually what I did get a good feel for with the uh, the Crisis cards was you know a um, bit of a bit of a flavour of Battlestar Galactica and their Crisis cards. Yep. On yep. that game. Um, but yeah, um, for the for the cost of the game, you're getting a lot of game for your dollar in this. If you're mm. up for a heavy, a heavy Correct, game. Correct. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and I think that's the, uh, you know, it's important to remember that this is a pre-production, so there's a lot of things that could potentially change. Um, like, I definitely think uh, the Ogre, Arkham Over he when I first saw this game, it was actually one of the things that drew me. I was like, oh, that's, a, that's cool. I like the iconography. And then I started playing and I was like, oh my God, this iconography. <laughs> so it's, it was actually, it's, it's both something that intrigued and in, in, like, I want that in my games. But the problem is, it's got too much of it now. Um, and that icon reference sheet, and this is probably hopefully something that will actually change and be one of the things that, that, that is improved a lot more. Uh, it's, there's iconography that, that, that doesn't exist. So for instance, um, where was that last card Rowan, that you, you, it was a, it was the number two, wasn't it? It was a card. Prosperity. With one. Yeah. This one yeah. here. So what does the other player with question mark above their head mean? Because yeah. up the top, it it just it it doesn't have it, and it's got in fact it's got two of that symbol, one for player and one for number of players. So I'm guessing that's number of players, but that needs to, you know, if you're using the iconography, it has to be absolutely clean and crisp. The teacher in this game also needs to be improved. Like having, I don't I don't know, maybe having a solo mode that someone could go through that you could say rather than me explain it to you for for an hour. Let's play this solo quicker, very, very, very short, quick solo mode that you can play through that teaches you the mechanics without having. And that's kind of like, like the suggestion that Doc had um, early is, is um, uh, what was, uh, sorry, I have to, I uh, can't scroll back up to the, the question, yeah. but it was, it was, Is yeah, there a tutorial game with this, yeah. like a couple of example rounds, like about a 30 minute tutorial game? Yeah, and, and I think that's certainly possible. Um, I don't think it's going to be something that changes the game in any way. It's just going to be that's something you build using the components you already have. So, um, yeah, it, and I, I do agree, Rowan, as well. It's it's not, it is a 4X, but it's not. Because, there's, yeah, there, as you said, there's no exploration. And you look at something like um, Eclipse Second Dawn of the Sun, yeah. um, arguably quite similar. It's not, a, it's not so heavy on the Euro component, um, but you get that exploration. Um, but I also agree with the Callum in that, in that the, the, the playthrough and the style, you, you do really feel like I wasn't even playing and I felt like you were fighting the Voidborn. And it's just like this whole, all right, there's a tension and there's battle. But is that with the Voidborn or is that with the game? Um, <laughs> so, for me, yeah. For me, I mean, it's suppose a, a, I, would, I would sort of want, you know, you'd want to know, you know, if this is your style of game, you know what? What are you coming for? Is yeah. it is it the four X? Is he are you looking for that four X experience? Uh, it's not quite that. Are you looking for the Euro experience? Well, yeah, it's probably more of that. Are you looking for area control? Yeah, there's a little bit of that. But but are there are there other games that that sort of give you that experience that just aren't as 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 heavy on that um, on that teach yeah. and that learning component? Yeah. yeah, like it's this is definitely a you know if you're looking at a you know, if you're looking at the heaviness factor, you know, this is sort of getting up there five out of five. And yeah, and uh, you, you, if you if you uh, if you are willing to invest and you're wanting to invest the time and you got the right group, mm. absolutely, 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 yeah, I mean, yeah. I the, the I can I like, know several players yeah. that that yeah. they've backed this and they will love it. Like, but it's it's is it a game that I'll play with my wife? Hell no. no. <laughs> I think I'd maybe get through the intro to my teach, and she'd be like. You're t you're still talking, <laughs> so it's it's um it's it yeah it, it it is a very heavy game, and that there is a big genre for that, and we and you can't you can't discount that. Um, no, uh, but yeah, I think... playing I think playing it in competitive mode would be good. But I actually yeah. also I'd be very interested to now that I've got through through the rules and through the the, the creating the teach, I'd actually be interested in playing the solo mode of it as mm -hmm. well. Um, but am I ever going to get the four hours to to play a solo mode of it that's that's going to be the question so yeah i think yeah absolutely i like in the competitive mode taking out this crisis board like this crisis card like you even you plan 
the best laid plans of mice and men, like the classic quote, I've got this plan, this is what I'm going to want to do for my activity, this is what I'm planning for, oh, by the way, sorry, mate, you've got to deal with the fact that you're getting attacked. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you know what? I won't do my production turn. I'm going to have to go think maybe I'll just, and it just flips your turn, and that's exciting. I Yeah, but, and that's that de- de- absolutely is. Um, yeah. It, it, it has that element to be really amazingly exciting because it's like flip you up, but at the same note, there's kind of like, oh, I can't really think ahead. <laughs> like this, this, this card is evil. Look at this one I just flipped out. So you resolve all of, you've got to do all three effects of your temptation or just lose 20 points. Oh, so, gosh. Oh, like, at least like, it's not difficult. It's like some of those cards were just like, well, actually, you, you can't, uh, you're not going to be able to do that. But yeah, like that's a, yeah. <laughs> and here are like quite, some of these challenge with... ones. This challenge yeah. ones as well, which was technological setback. This place this card as a catastrophe. Sorry, mate. Just have a catastrophe. Yeah. That's what that is. Enjoy. Like that's it's what just that just is. straight up. This card <laughs> that our is... progress in the game, to be honest with you. Yeah. I think we progressed reasonably well. Yeah. And, and Dan, I think if your wife was an astrophysicist <laughs> with a degree in Egyptian hieroglyphics, I think you know, you know, you'd get it to the table a lot. Oh, absolutely, mm. but that would probably be the case on most games. So, <laughs> I'm trying to be funny, and it's late at night. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. So, uh, would we play this game again? I don't think I would play it on stream for sure. Um, but if you know, if they were to send out a copy, then absolutely, I'd definitely, I'd love to see this on the table. This would be a um, just like, you know, similar to uh, uh, Rowan when we had those big get Battlestar Galactic days or the, uh, uh, not Dominion. Um, Agnes Brines. Yeah, like, it, yeah. It, it's a big day event, but it's something that would actually yeah. be really, really. Yeah. yeah. And look, if this was on a table at a convention or something, people are going to walk past and go, oh, hang yeah. on a sec, what's that? Yeah. That's mm. going to draw attention. But uh, but yeah, you've, you've just got to, as I said before, you've just got to invest the the time into into it um yeah. and yeah like you know you might find a, a, a rewarding for me there's probably other games that, that i'd i'd probably go to first but i i think you know as i said definitely going to be a group for it and uh that might be you so yeah yeah beautiful well make sure you check it out um on uh on kickstarter um it's got six more days to go from the 12th so um Give it a look, and um, we, funnily enough, I say that, and it's just gone up in there. You know, someone's just uh, pledged to it as well. So, thanks everyone for watching. Um, long stream. Uh, we haven't decided on the game we're going to do next week, uh, but we'll hit that up on socials and let you all know. Thanks everyone for joining this game of Voidfall. Good night, everyone. Uh, Cheers. Cheers.